you're alive, it says. I think we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live. Um, yeah, welcome, 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 everyone, to uh, the new embargo that has now dropped, which is the... Um, well, basically, we're now allowed to stream everything uh, for eight hours again, uh, except for Tao Chan. So I've decided that my campaign is going to be with Luji. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm allowed to do another eight hours, and on only 9th of January, everything drops embargo-wise, and we're allowed to just basically do anything except for reviews, but I don't do reviews, so that's fine. But I can let's play as much as I want. I can finish the two campaigns I will have started now. Um, and do whatever else I want. So, hello everyone. Um, you will hear occasionally probably explosions in the background. Uh, World War 3 is not kicked off, but it is the 30th of December, so, you know, fireworks and all that. Um, G is too hard to pronounce correctly. Am I doing it wrong? I mean, I've been pretty on the ball uh, for the most part, I think, with pronunciations, but... Lu Xi? Is, is it not just she? I don't know. Anyway, um... Before we get started, uh, someone asked uh, in the chat if I can show the um, sorry the yellow turban boys, the new ones, this screen. I'm not gonna, you know, I'll I'll just go through them right now, um, and then you can pause the video or go back in the stream and have a look, a proper look at all this stuff. So obviously this is not something that I, you know, am intending to play right now or anything. But there you go. There's the free, uh, the free boys. But we're gonna be playing as Lu Xi, if you know, well, whatever the pronunciation of Xi is. Which isn't that. Um, so Luji is uh, a strategist. His faction-wide uh, buff is plus ten percent character experience, which sounds great. Um, not really. Uh, his starting situation is very hard, probably because I'm assuming it's because he starts right up against the three yellow turban factions, essentially, um, meaning that we're immediately going to be thrown into the thick of things. Uh, and I'm assuming we start a war with them as well. So. Yeah, that, that ought to be interesting, but we do have um, Huang Fu Song as our noteworthy character, so we have two legendary characters just to start, with, I'll start off with. His faction specialization is a great library, he collects great works and books from across the Empire, and he can place books on display for unique effects. So basically, he does the exact same thing that Liu Chong does as well, in that he collects something, or like he basically he does certain things and he unlocks another book and then he can use that actively. My fucking god, fireworks. Um, his, uh, he can place books on display for you. If I, I, may I, did I already say that? Um, his playstyle focus is scholarship and teaching, which, whatever, it just means he has plus 10% character experience. We get the Defenders of the Empire, which I believe, yeah, it's unbreakable. So this is an interesting unit in the fact that it is unbreakable, which, uh, you know, I, it has its pros and cons. Being unbreakable, the co main con of it is that, obviously, um, if you were to lose a battle and your entire army is routing, you've just got these guys kind of, you know, dying and they're not killing anything in return because obviously they're 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 going to be super overwhelmed and everything, and they're just going to sit there until they die. So uh, you could probably tell them to leave the battlefield, but even so, uh, and then we have uh, stories of treachery, which sounds like a very interesting unit because they have a good charge and splash attack. I don't know what the fuck that means exactly. Well, I I know what it means, but I I don't know exactly gameplay wise because cavalry on the charge are already insane. And how much damage they do, especially when charging an archer unit or in the back of some units or something. If it has splash attack, I can only imagine that a charge is going to just absolutely devastate a unit even more than it already does. So uh, we have the teaching assignment, which increases experience, uh, and then we have loyalty to the Han. So we cannot declare as emperor by creating an empress because we are essentially playing as a governor, and the governors, of course, cannot declare themselves emperor. So we just have to take an active seat if we decide to play that far, which we probably will. Um, right, before we have all this stuff against, we're playing a legendary, as per usual, and China must be united. Let's do it. Xiongxin 
，天下人无不设法为己身谋取利益，而张角则盘算着要君临天下，统御四海。天子大权旁落，皇后和宦官们争权夺利，作乱朝政。战火已是一触即发，不知要流尽多少鲜血，才能使天下重归一统。All right. Um. The Dong Dongzhou does become fat, yes, because uh, in the campaign, the other campaign we're doing right now, Liu Chong, um, we've gotten to the 3K stage essentially, and he is fat now. Um, the old is finished? No, not yet. We, I just, I have eight hours to play, or eight hours embargo from the last embargo, and eight hours to play in a campaign now, and I decided to do a new campaign instead. But I will finish the last one as well. I'm going to go back to it once I'm infinitely allowed to play this. Which is on the 9th of January. Zhuguan,如今海内纷乱，叛贼四起，百姓正需要您的指引。五号守穷经乃至此位，人庙堂之上竟有弄权之人，宵小之辈，妄图玩弄权术，以图高位，阴患如今气焰熏天。京城不得安宁，天下苦之久矣。西北边陲已有人举义，欲除此乱象。您需教化百姓，以辅天下，使声名流芳后世。非圣贤之训，何以救黎民，扶正道？如今海内怨声四起，东方又有乱贼起事，如今社稷微弱累卵。若是必须出兵护国，我当勉为其难。纵然世道险恶，您亦应坚守本心。道之所在，虽千万人无往矣。主公，您当为万世开太平。China needs us. All right, an attentive attendant, being filial and incorruptible, is a requirement for high office. This can, however, be taken too far. If you write disapproving letters about the emperor, correct or not, you should expect consequences. You know, to collect books for the great library and put down rebellions against the empire. Uh, law and order is kept. This is the mission where we gotta murder someone. We got a book plus five percent armor for melee calf. Um, I'm assuming that's a book. I mean, it looks like a book. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a book. Completing a mission. Okay, cool. Uh, engage the following. Okay, we gotta just yeah murder the army. Fair enough. We can do that. Li Bei's got a capital just over here. Look at him. Look at the man go. Um, yep, that sounds great. We got some ancillaries. Ooh, that is a, that is a that's a low roll on the ancillaries today. My goodness. Um, although does he start? Yeah, he starts with a bow. I was gonna say if he doesn't start with a bow, at least we have a bow to give him. But no, he does. He does start with one. That said, I guess I can give you a bow. Get some cunning as well. So I suppose why not? Um, God, that is a, that is that is the hor the worst roll I've ever had on on items. Um, I'm gonna give you that instead because you're an expertise boy. All right, you can get the fuck out of here, lady. Let's, let's come on now. So we start with uh, two units of destroyers of treachery, which again has the splash attack. So I'm ex excited to see what they do or how they do. And then we got the defenders of the empire, which have 53% armor. Um, basically, this will be our go-to unit. Although I'm assuming we can only recruit them when we get to level three or something. It doesn't say. Hold on. Yeah. So we need to be level three in order to recruit those. But yeah, that, that'll probably be my go-to infantry unit because there's a, they're only 165 per turn, which is um, let's see, I don't have anyone who could recruit. I need I need this guy right now to see. But yeah, basically, I think um, spear uh, the regular spear guards are like 100. And, I mean, they're pretty similar. Maybe 180 or something. No, I don't know. They're they're around that as well. Anyway. Um, what are we up against? We are up against Redeemed Outlaws. Great, that's going to give me a good chance to try out the calf. We have, um, what have we got to do? We have low satisfaction to start with, so that's great. So we can definitely have a look at firing some of these people, if not all. We currently would like Zong Huan because he's a calf commander. Oh, we actually have 15 cunning for 
a vanguard. That's slightly disgusting. Um, okay, he's pretty good, so I don't really want to fire him. We've got a brave, loyal, and perceptive guy here. He's pretty good too, but and he's also um, a, like a decent character and like a noteworthy character. Okay, these are all noteworthy characters. You're deceitful and vain. Okay, that that one's less interesting because of the vein. So I, if I have to fire one of these two, it'll probably be him. Plus, he he's less liked or he, he has less satisfaction right now as well. Uh, and then this oh, this guy's a pacifist. My God, he's also kind of meh. Um, he's scholarly. I mean, it's a lot of cunning at least, but his um, I like think pacifist is actually not that bad. I, I was confusing it with the other one. And then we okay, yeah, we both we start with decent abilities, both of them. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll fire Ma Midi. It's, it sucks to to fire people that have thirty stats, but I also feel like um, we need money. And besides that, um, oh yeah, I was I was gonna say I was confusing this one with cowardly. By the way, um, yeah, we need money, but also I I don't need two I don't need three strategists right now. That's I, in fact I'm almost tempted to fire the other one simply in the the, the the fact that we don't need a, another strategist anytime soon. Um, but I'll definitely get rid of Mom Midi for now. And also, of course, you know, this Free Kingdoms can, or this Mandate of Heaven campaign, we've noticed already that you generally tend to get quite a few um, legendary characters pretty early on, so in the other campaign. So I'm assuming we'll get the same option here. So you are fired, sir. Now I definitely want to keep him because he's, uh, I mean, 15 cunning is a bit of a shame, but he's overall he's pretty good. Oh, minus 15% upkeep for shot. That's if, that's if he's a Prime Minister Air Affection Leader, but still. Um, yeah, he like he's pretty good, and I do need a calf commander, so I'm gonna keep him around. Fushi is pretty good as well. <sighs> There's some solid stats. The authority is kind of meh, but I don't know. He's he like he's got great abilities too. Loyal. God, general discontent is a, a bit of a problem. I I feel like I need to fire him as well. Like, <laughs> should I just fire everyone except for Zhong Yuan? I can always recruit more people soon, right? I'm kind of tempted. Like, this guy's pretty good, but we're going to get other people that are pretty good as well. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess we're doing it. Let's just fire all of them. This guy's 43 years old. Yeah, let's get him out of here. No equipment that I need to take from him. I need the money. It sucks, but they're not, like, insane either. They're, you know, they're pretty good, but they're not, like, mental or anything. Let's just get fucking rid of all of them, except for a song you want, because I do want to recruit a calf commander. All right. Uh, that's increased my income a decent bit. Let's start with uh, trade as well. We can trade. We can trade the Liu Bei. Oof, that's a terrible trade, though, in comparison to Tao Qian, for example. Which looks like it might just be the best one. All right, Tao Qian, what do you say to some trade with my your old buddy here? Uh, we're both scholars and all that. You're not going to give me any money for this, though. Let's see. Is there anyone else that's like kind of similar in terms of how much I make from that? Free forty free is pretty decent. Because I'd rather you know get some extra money on top of it as well if I can. Okay, it looks like free forty free is like the next best thing with Liu Bei out. That's okay. I can definitely get a lot more money out of that. That's definitely worth doing. Uh, 86. Uh, 87? I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, 86 it is. Yeah, that'll be worth it. Because by the time I, I, you know, make the money back that I would have made from Tao Chan, it's we're, we're way ahead. Um, anything else we want to do with you? Not really. I have no ancillary, so that sounds good to me. Let's quickly catch up on chat as well, by the way. Is Tyra Fukuhara actually doable? Random question uh, on a Free Kingdom stream, but sure, yeah. I mean, every faction or clan in Shogun 2 is doable. Um, is this going to be on here later so I can watch it again? Yes, of course, sir. Every one of my streams is available to watch later on. What's the relationship with Liu Bei? I mean, we're fuck buddies, but you know, beyond that. Oh, we have, we have, we have two trades available. Well, um, okay, hold on. So, yeah, 345, I mean, that's, like, by far the next best thing. So, like, unless, let's see, 317 or something. Just, just out of curiosity, if he's willing to pay me a whole bunch of money for it, but... Oh, 0 0.8, so no. Um, yeah, I'll get it with Tao Qian. We're going to get more trade as well from... I, I, we, we probably start with the... Um, pay me any money? No. Um, yeah, whatever, it's fine. We probably start with... With the um, the reform already done, then that's what I'm guessing. This one over here, yeah. Wait, no, that one doesn't give any trade. Why do I have an extra trade agreement available? <laughs> Is it because of uh, him as a? Does he have that as a thing? Yes, plus one available. Oh, it must be a skill that he has unlocked. Uh, which one is it? It'd be that one right there. Judgment. All right, cool. 
So that's pretty good. Our income's flown up by about a thousand bucks per turn. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I also still haven't used any multiple bolt crossbows in the other campaign, so I really ought to use some in this one. There's a uh, someone we're at war with, by the way. Starting, uh, you know, that that's you know the three other Turban brothers are here, there, and okay. So here's Zhang Zhe. And I think next to on Ping is Zhang Bao. So yeah, they're all pretty close to us. So we got to recruit shit pretty rapidly here. But first, we gotta murder a fucking army. We have some stuff to build as well, but we gotta murder armies first, and then we'll get a, we'll get back to spending that dough. So, you ready to get murdered? All right, let's do some murdering. Um, yep, let's murder. Please betray the emperor. No. Lu Xi was Liu Bei and Gong Xunzang's mentor. Okay. Still trying to catch up on your stream upload this morning. Yeah, so... Um, as I explained in that one as well, I obviously, I hadn't streamed for almost a week due to Christmas, internet being fucked, me being ill, and then yesterday a friend coming over the whole day. So I wanted to catch up a little bit and I decided to do um, two, two streams today. Because tomorrow I can't stream in the evening again, my evening, because obviously, um, which is, this is my evening right now. Um, tomorrow I can't do it either because of New Year's Eve, so I'm gonna stream in the afternoon tomorrow as well, probably. Anyway, what the fuck are they doing there? Are you actually, are you trying to go on a little hill or something? Is that what you're doing? We have, uh, oh, we have a bow. We actually, I was gonna say we have no ranged weapons. But we do. Um, yeah, let's just get the cav out to the flanks. They're gonna do the, the, the mo most of the work here. Okay. Just grab this army and start moving that way. Unless they come towards me. I mean, neither one of us has ranged weapons, so... I don't know what the plan is here. But they don't appear to be coming towards me. Um, does he want a duel? I think he does. Yeah, they always want a duel in the first battle. But, surprisingly, we're actually kind of close to each other in terms of skill. So I'm uh, probably going to let that one be for now. Although, why am I running him forward if I'm not going to duel? What the fuck am I doing? Let's just get all the way up on there. Get all up on in here now. Just run you over there. Run you over here. I should probably just walk them in triple speed though, in, to be fair. And then I guess I'll just do that. No dueling for me. I mean, with the 50% melee evasion, we have 89. So it's pretty good for 20 seconds. But that's a scholar, in fairness. So he's got some... Uh, he's got melee attack rate right now. Yeah, we probably beat him, but there's no really real need to try that. Let's shoot him instead. Although we're currently... Are we actually going to hit him? Oh, we were actually, because of the arc, I guess. He's taking heaven. Loads of damage. Oh, I love that. A little just one arrow. It's actually doing surprisingly good damage as well. Look at his health dropping. 25k, 23k. Oh, and then we're out of ammo already. Man, that was quick. <laughs> that was way too quick. Alright. Let's start running over here now. Oh shit! Oh boy! Get the fuck out of there, son! The fuck's going on? Make a line! You, get in there! You, get over here! You, get over here! Okay. Um... Yeah, fuck it, charge him. You, you're anti-cav as well, really, so... Okay, we're gonna have to charge into those to kind of distract them. Or not anti-cab necessarily, but yeah, they, they mess up generals too, those types of units. See you later. Okay, now let's get ourselves a proper charge in here. Even though we're kind of backwards here, but... I want to see the splash damage in action on a, uh, a not ideal charge. Yeah, killed about half the unit. Not too bad. We're not. This is not a or not ideal charge, but... There goes one unit. I'm sure the second one is not going to last much longer. What a battle, am I right? There we go. Oh boy. I was always wondering who was going to win that one. There goes the general. I'm going to kill the... I mean, I don't have to kill them. They die anyway, but I may as well get the extra experience on the units here. Kill them off manually. Um... Luigi is also not notable for overtaxing the peasants during plague, inadvertently helping to gestate the uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion. Every time someone says YT, I immediately want to say YouTube Rebellion. It's just not. Shame Huang Song is old. Huang Fu Song, yeah, I know. What's your favorite Total War? Favorite 
Battles, Shogun 2, favorite campaign, Free Kingdoms. That's my go-to answer now, because I, 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 like, Free Kingdoms generally is probably my new favorite Total War game, but, um, ooh, that's 3% replenishment, it's not bad, but I'll take the 137 bucks. Boom, we got him. Written in stone, two grand, nice. In uncertain times, preparation for military action is prudent, as are the preservation of things held close to our hearts. Things that make us who we are as individuals as well as society should be kept for all time. The same teachings can thus be learned by the generations that follow. Alright. Um, equip the following thing to your faction and then we get replenishment. Fucking fantastic. You know what? You could probably cheese that. Oh, we have an extra plus 5% replenishment. Completing a mission. Completing. Well, we get two for completing a mission? What the fuck? Nice. Um... Yeah, sure, I'll, 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 I'm okay with that. I was going to say I could cheese it, but like, if I wasn't planning on recruiting right now, which I will, then I could like equip the book later and get the bonus later. But uh, no, I'll equip both of, these, both of these bad boy books. What a mission completion. Now we got to become a noble, a knobhead, and then we get more replenishment. Wow, okay, this guy's all about replenishment. Plus 10 public order, sure, why not? Fervor is going to be going up here. we got to take out these yellow turban boys real quick. And it's probably going to come down to mostly us to do that, I imagine, because everyone else around here is supposed to like kind of fall. So we're going to fight back hard and fast. Um, for now, though, what was I doing? I was going to do something. There was something I was going to do. I was going to look at the other book. Yeah, it kind of took me out of that. That's what I was doing. Uh, so we have plus 5% replenishment and plus 5% armor for melee cav. And it's a part of a set as well. What the fuck does that... How does that work? Are they like, holy, okay, that's just a, yeah, okay. Wait, is that for, like, everyone or something? Um, unlocked by win 30 battles, my god, that's... Fully upgrade a city, hire five enemy generals, fight a battle alongside another faction, occupy ten settlements, rank ten faction leader, travel to an Unding. Wait, that's not just over here or somewhere. Uh, wait, Unding is pretty close. There, and that's on ping. Damn, is Unding down here? Where the fuck's Anding? Wait, is Anding over here? I'm just gonna keep saying, it. wait, is Anding, and then just like, wait, is Anding over here somewhere? Go every, and then I'm like, yeah, oh, I knew that. I knew it was over there. No, I don't know where the fuck Anding is. I'm assuming it's a decent distance away, charging from the, f oh, there it is. It was over here, that was my second guess. You know, it's not too bad. Third guess, or something. Anyway, um, okay, so we already have walls in our city. I'm kind of tempted to upgrade this to level three as fast as possible, so we get a decent garrison here. Probably want to get rid of this to get a decent, like an extra garrison here as well. Or maybe even fervor, fervor reducing buildings might be useful here too. I do want to get the, keep the food, I think that's pretty important. I think we're going to operate that for now. Um, and then, so you're going to take that. Do I run towards Hanai? The problem if I go to Hanai is that I can't recruit, well I can recruit but I won't get the mustering bonus next turn if I then just go into the actual town. If I go here, I get the mustering bonus, and I get, I get, I get to stay there, essentially. But I'm, it puts me further away from him, which is the downside, so I guess I will just go here. And then I guess I just won't move all the way to the town, essentially. And we're gonna recruit some fucking units. Do I get Zong Huan in here right now, or do I recruit some units first? Um, there's pros and cons to both. I think the actual cost of recruiting him right now kind of sucks so let's just get some uh, let's just get some crossbows i'm gonna keep these two units for now because they're actually pretty useful um do i get four right away let's see what i'm what i'm kind of at because i want to get some infantry do i go for Gian's sword guards right away that sounds like an expensive unit to go for immediately i'm almost almost tempted to go for more of these guys as well but i don't really want to recruit them in him but they are really quite solid so i don't know Hanai, not Hanai, that you're saying. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. CV the Destroyer 2. What happened to the first one, man? What happened to CV the Destroyer 1? Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to fucking fix my pronunciation. I'm gonna I'm gonna mispronounce everything because of you now, alright? Um anyway, so I I yeah, I'm kinda tempted to recruit some more of those, but I'm not gonna let's just get some crossbows. Um I don't know. I do need some infantry, or do I not? Maybe, I don't even know what the fuck I want right now. Do I not recruit anything? I have to recruit because he's too close for me not to recruit anything right now. 
what does he have? That's a, that's another question because I could kind of like try and work out if I need something specific to counter. He's got the Tyrant Slayer, so I definitely need enough range units to take them out because they will destroy my generals. Um, okay, let's just get four crossbows. I think that's that makes sense. I would love to get this thing, but it's a bit expensive. Let's just get four crossbows for now, and then I do want infantry. I don't like saber militia. Especially since these guys have, like, well, they, militia units in general have been nerfed a lot. So I'm kind of more tempted to go with uh, the medium tier units earlier on. So I think I'm going to just get, I guess I can recruit one of these right now. And that's about it. And I can get, like, two more next turn. It's not great. I guess I could wait on this one one turn as well. Get a little bit more, money, like, income right now. Um, next turn I have... 2600 I would I'd still be able to only recruit free I wouldn't be able to recruit four or anything um, unless I cancel a little bit so I, I do think having the infantry is pretty important as well um, oh boy what a what, okay, what a fucking what a bit of decision making we got going on here I think I'm gonna hold I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna just recruit three units right now I do feel like I need to recruit units pretty fast I feel like you could pretty you could die pretty quickly in this campaign if you don't you know get your shit in order fast enough um, and then we still got to recruit Jean, uh, the, the other guy as well, um, Song Huan as well into the into the army. But for now, let's just um, let's do this. Let's see what happens. See, we die instantly as he come towards us instead of the town of Hene. Um, is it the wife of Liu Bang? <laughs> um, I didn't play the game. If it's true, my favorite is Han Xin. I don't, I don't know. Wait, hold on, what happened? Whoa, he took this instead. The little bastard, I assumed he was gonna take that. That's why I moved my army here. And now I gotta move back, well, I guess we got walls here, so I guess, I suppose it's okay. Ah, oh, that's, what a little dickhead. He went that way instead. Okay, um, well, well then, sir. Um, do I start, I mean, I'm losing a mustering bonus would be pretty rough, so I, I'm tempted to just kind of sit here for a turn, especially if I'm gonna recruit like, I could still only recruit free right now. I could recruit the other crossbow unit. And then we can still recruit the other one next turn. And then we have, you know, t two decent um, retinues, I suppose. I don't like recruiting this much this fast, but we kind of have to. Um, I'll get rid of these for a second just so I can kind of look around first. Because it commits it when I click away. Because, yeah, we got the fervor coming in as well now. Um... We got this. We can get more trade. That would be very, very good. I'll have one more trade, please. Anyone got trade available? Yes. Oh, plenty of people. Um, so far, Bian Zhang is Zhang is the highest. Uh, okay, Wang Rui. Wang Rui. What do you say? We do some trading here, my friends. Damn. Are you gonna be a little bastard about this? Come on, pay me the bitch coke then. Oh, he will actually pay me. Well, I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna beg. Um. <laughs> Do I, I mean, is that, is there anything that's like close enough? This guy was decent as well. Would you pay me money for it? No, you won't. Anyone else? Liu Bei, would you pay me money for it? I mean, if, because that's like, oh wow, okay, that might be worth it. Oh boy, no, it's not. What about a regular payment? A regular roll payment, that's a bit, a bit high maybe. Um, you are incredibly poor, are you not? I believe, I can, I can tell that you're not a particularly rich man. What have you got in terms of ancillaries? The military axe, which I think I might be able to take off of him for now. Give me that axe. What, what say you? Yeah, I can take the axe for trade. That's not bad. Um, yeah, would I rather take this? I mean, I can get like 20 bucks per turn more, which is pretty good in fairness, but I think I'd rather get the axe right now and get better relations with my friend Liu Bei. Speaking of getting better relations, I probably should actually get all the non-aggression pack stuff or military access even. There's only a couple I can do. Um, Cao Cao, who doesn't own any land. You pay me some money for this shit? Yeah, that's what I thought. I should have done this last turn, but this is okay. That's a pretty solid deal, Mr. 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 Cao. Uh, what was it again? 200 or something? 215? 225? What, what say you? Oh, 24. 23. I'm a fucking stingy as hell, son. Um, yep. Sounds like a good deal to me. Two hundred twenty-three bucks. This is like if it was, if this was Shogun Two, I'd be like, Ugh, selling military excess. What a disgusting thing to do. 
but in this game it's it's different i feel because you're just you're building up relationships with people whereas in shogun 2 like they will never buy it unless they're bordering you and even then ew, no i'm not gonna do that like, i do want some money for it um but yeah they'll only do it if if they're bordering you and then they'll generally betray you so i could get money from him but i mean he doesn't want to pay me much more than like what was it 350 or something what the fuck are you doing man uh Wait, hold on, what was that? We were 380 or something. Or 280, 290. Wait, was what the fuck? Did I try 300? Okay, 300 bucks. Um, 300 bucks from interest. I mean, it's 4.8. I'm sure he's going to get richer at some point and he'll just do an actual good deal. So let's just wait for that. We got ourselves a mid tracks. We got ourselves some extra income. We have. Uh, actually, hold on. I do want to. I do wonder. Would 380 bucks be enough for me to afford another unit? No, it wouldn't be. Well, there you go. Then I won't do it. If it was, that would have been, like, the deciding factor there. Okay. Uh, and then next turn we recruit one more unit. And then we're, you know, we got a decent defending force. And we can save up to get the other guy recruited as well. Although, next turn I probably want to upgrade this further. If I still have the money, which I guess we'll find out. Let us end this turn. What say you? I wonder if he's coming for me right away. I mean, his army's pretty sizable, but... We have a fairly decent army as well now. The Zhang brothers. You hear rumors of the three brothers of the Zhang family from Julu Kantu who have been gathering many followers to their side. It is said that one day, while gathering herbs, one of the brothers was visited by an old man who handed them a book of three volumes, The Essential Arts of Great Peace. It was said that whoever held this book would be able to bring peace to all mankind. The group had begun calling themselves the Yellow Turbans due to the scarves they wear on their heads. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. I'll take that. And yeah, we've got the grain farms done. Can I? Aff I can't afford this, so I will then. Um, lose the mustering bonus, but I think I, it is worth moving this way now. Ooh, there he is, with a, almost a full stack. I'm just out of range, so he could attack the town if he wanted to. I'll recruit my final unit, and then I'll save the rest of the money. Oh, hold on, if I do don't do that, can I afford him? No, I can't. I'm just shy. I could do it if I. If I took Leo Bay's money. <laughs> uh, let's see if he's got any more money yet. Yo, Leo Bay. Oh, Tao Chiang wants this too. How much do you want it though? 2.2. Pay me some... Nope. Pay, pay me some instant money for that. Like, 500 bucks will do. What do you say? Oh, you will say yes. Wow. Um, 525. That's way too much. 510. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I Then I can recruit the guy... Which is probably more useful than recruiting one more unit right now. Uh, Liu Bei, you any richer? You are a lot richer than you were just now. How much will you pay me for this now? Still not a whole lot. In fact, that's... We had 300 last turn, so I guess it doesn't change. In fact, it's gotten worse. I'm going to hold off. Um, yeah, alright. Well, we got the money from uh, Tao Qian, so I guess that's fine. So let's recruit this guy in here as well. And then... We're going to recruit more stuff in the way of... I don't know, it's going to be a really weird army because we have these guys in those um, those retinues, essentially. So I'm probably going to have to switch... I'm going to have to switch it up at some point, but for the moment it's fine. So next turn, I think we recruit that unit here and then I'm going to call it probably a day because we're not making that much money anymore at that point. But then if he wants to come and attack us, we deal with him and then we go on the attack and take him out. Or if he fucks off elsewhere, we just take his farmland from behind him. Sounds like a good deal to me. I do need to upgrade this though. Uh, that is actually like legitimately a concern because we need that to be to have a decent garrison. So if we do get attacked there, we actually can hold it perhaps. All right, so he's replenishing as am I. So I suppose that's okay. So if I move, I lose the mustering bonus again, but that's eh, good enough. That I don't care. All right, recruit that final unit. And then next turn, uh, we still can't afford this, but yeah, whatever. Who is this? Time out. A guy I recruited last time, and then I had to end up throwing him away because I couldn't afford him anymore. He's decent, but he's not that good. I just, I, I got like, when when it happened in the other campaign, I was like, oh my god, it's a unique character. Fucking get him immediately, boys. I recruited him as well. He's still in the faction, I think. Pretty decent characters, just haven't got space for them right now. I got, well, I, I have a decent bit of money, but 
not enough. Um, also, yeah, it's one of those buildings that I'm kind of like, I should get rid of it and build something else, but 100 bucks per turn, it's difficult to say no to that. No assignments available or anything either. Uh, you're pissed off, but you'll probably get, yeah, the lack of purpose is going to go away, so it'll be fine. You'll be fine. I could recruit some more units. Um, so we currently have six infantry, which is a bit on the low side. Six melee infantry dies, four cav. So I do, I do want like it's just weird, because I'm not going to get rid of the destroyers of treachery until I can recruit them, which I'm guessing is level five. No, level six even. Oh boy, um, defenders of the empire level three. They got like a golden outline, whereas they don't. I wonder why that is. Because they're also a faction unique unit. You'd think it'd have something to do with that, but anyway, um, yeah. Diplomacy, I guess I can have a quick look. We've already got all of our trade and all that, so that's not a concern. There's no tr peace to be made. Yeah, whatever. Probably the the actual mandate of having events going to pop up soonish, I think. We're talking about fucking politics now. What's going on? What's going on, boys? Liu Hong declared war on Zhang Liang. Okay. Graffiti. As you walk through the lo a local village, you see three men in the town square. They are tied to blocks as a and a headsman stands above them. Their crime was spreading graffiti, promoting yellow turbans around the village. Things seem to be getting out of hands with these yellow turbans. These damn yellow turbans! Oh, fucking hell, it is getting out of hand. It's gonna reduce my happiness pretty rapidly here. I'm just shy. Liu Bei, I think it might be time for our relationship to improve. I need, I need some cash, Liu Bei. Spare some change! There's a lot of people here now. Uh, Liu Yu. Three and a half. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, 500 bucks, what say you? You say no. But you say yes to 364. That sounds like a good deal to me. Alright, who else? Who else wants some? The Bay. Let's do it. Say, oh man, that's going up. But you're still... Yeah, you're not very rich, which is the problem. Um, you're making more money though. I wonder if I should wait even longer. Uh, how much is this now? I mean, that's alright, I guess. And then we do 600. Definitely not. We do 580. You drive a hard bargain, sir. What the f... Alright, 570. From a 6.8, I mean, doesn't he have more ancillaries? He has one over here. I guess I can take that too, and then take less money. God, he's just not... He's not willing to pay much, is he? We can do... 320 or something like that. There you go. 320 and an ancillary, which isn't great, but... Um, yeah, fuck it. I'll take it. If he was any richer, he'd pay me quite a bit of money for 6.8, but he's not. We got Ding Yuan, we got Yuan Yi, and Han Fu. Kind of wonder, like, yeah, some of these aren't really worth it because I'd rather they die off so I can take them out, right? I don't necessarily want to be friends with them or anything. But on the other hand, I can't attack them anyway, but besides, or without like overthrowing the fucking empire and everything, so. Nah, fuck it. Leave it. Alright. Gave us enough money to upgrade this though, which is worth, because then we get a bigger garrison. And then I guess with the rest of the money, we'll recruit some more units soon. But for the moment, I think I'm okay. I probably wanted to get two more cav and two of these. Gives me a very small amount of ranged, which is not usually what I go for, but then I'll have six cav instead of four. So that, that'll that be interesting. Um, I do want two G Militia or just some more. Sp I guess I have two Spears, so I guess it's okay, but whatever. Let's see what Zhang Liang does, because either way, as long as he's there, I can't really attack him. Even even if I had a full stack, it'd be difficult to do because he has a full stack in his garrison as well. And we're, you know, we have no real advantage yet or anything. We have nothing that makes us unfair towards the other. Liu Chong declared war on Zhang Bao, Cao Cao and Chen Ju Gui as well. Ding Yuan declared war on Zhang Zhu. And then Tang Zhuo defects. The yellow turban officer Tang Zhuo has seen the error of his ways and surrendered to the emperor. He has swiftly implicated others in the plot, who have been swiftly dealt the emperor's justice. It seems the yellow turbans are planning to strike against the empire. I will follow the story. Who are we here? We got here. Huo Yu, who is apparently legendary, even though she's not. She's also weak. She does not look like the kind of character I'd want in my court. Then we got Chan Fen, who's vain. Great. I am very happy that so far that I decided to get rid of all those dudes in turn one. I mean, that may have been... Well, it definitely was the right choice. Um, 
Okay, so I, I think we have one more turn, then we can afford like everything in a single turn, I think we have. Well, because this is two grand. We'll have 20, we'll have 3,100, so two grand, and then yeah, we'll easily be able to afford all of it. It'll be a weird fucking army, but it'll do. It'll do, lads. It'll do. They've got fucking loads of spears, but that's fine, actually. I think our Jan sword guards are probably quite a bit superior to to that. Hanfu will die soon, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. In fact, I oh know he's in Bohai. Look, fucking Shang Bao is uh, not doing too bad though. This guy's got two towns already as well. I gotta I gotta start attacking this guy soon, but he's got all he's got a full stack now and fully replenished. He's gotta do something, right? Like whether he attacks me or someone else, I don't know, but he's gotta get something done. More people declaring war on Zhang Bao. We got Kuai Yu. He's a pacifist and it's quiet. Well, what a man. Uh, Alright, and the farmland is done. So now we've got a decent garrison. Well, it's half dead. But Alright, I'll have some more trade if you don't mind. One more trade agreement, please. Having this one unlocked early on. I normally never have that, so there's actually quite a, f a lot of options here. Minus 10% character salary, definitely worth it later on. 30% income in commerce, not too shabby later on either. I normally never unlock that one because I actually have to unlock something, or I have to. I think you have to build something to unlock it. I never built that. Um, trade, yes. Let's, let's do some more trading, please. Oh boy, loads of options. 304, 304 again, 307, 330. Hello, Wang Rui. 330 is the highest one. What can you offer me, though? None of that nonsense, I'll tell you. Any good money? Eh, nothing too great. 254. Wait, hold on. No, we're still too low. I thought it was 1.4. 372. Okay. Um, I mean, that was definitely by far the best one, but there was a 307. I guess... Just see. I don't think anyone's going to pay me anything good, because they're all minor... Minor clans, they don't have that much. Um, nah, we'll just take that one. Was it 374 or something? Something along those lines. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, and trade, yep. Wang Rui, let's do it. Oh, that's the that's the guy who becomes um, Huang, Huang Zhong as a faction. Alright, so income's doing pretty good. Plus we got some extra money, so we can definitely afford to get that now so that this is actually the kind of um retinue that's like that's the way i want it this one's got to change out those two guys at some point and this one's got to change out those two guys at some point but other than that it's not too crazy we just have more cav and less range units right now but cav is always nice to have so and it rhymes isn't that brilliant we also have eight food i do wonder if anyone would be like yo I'll have some of that cheeky food. You've you're, how the fuck are you on minus two? You start on like all the food provinces. Do you have any money? Not really. How much would you? Could you give me like? You would do free for two food, right? Oh no, two. That's terrible. I thought you give me more than that. No, I'm, well, it's not, never gonna happen. Um, is anyone rich enough to actually want to pay me good amounts of money for food, and also has? Need of food. You. Sunjan. Hold on. Yes. With you, I can talk. We can discuss things. Although that's not great. Six food for 131. That's not particularly good. Five food for 118. That's looking better. Um, like 110, is that? Would that be alright? Yeah. So 110 for four food. Um, it's not great. Okay, yeah, there you go. There, hundred bucks for two. Yeah, okay, free food, hundred bucks. Sure, I'll take that. It's fine. Not, a, not the best deal I've ever made, but like, pretty free for per food is not terrible. All right, well, I'm just gonna replenish in in two turns. I guess I'm gonna have to attack him if he's just gonna sit there. This farmland has got yeah, it's got a sizable garrison because they're yellow turbans. They just get a sizable garrison by default. Um, really tempted to get rid of this now, but I shouldn't. Also, the fact that this is owned by Zhang, Be, or, uh, Zhang Bao, I don't know when he took that, but he might just be like right here and about to attack my damn farmland. I hadn't really considered that. I might be overrun real quick here, and then my food will go down, and then my money will go down, and then all of a sudden... I, I'm not aware of him yet, actually, but still. 
And then I'll die, is what I was going to say. I could try and ambush him, I suppose. Beyond Zhang declared war on Zhang Bao. Lu Xi swiftly deals with the rebel friend. Oh, also, there's an event at some point where there's a whole bunch of rebellions that spawn. Is that going to happen to me as well? I imagine so. Um, engage the following army in battle. What? Guan Hai. Who, who does that belong to, though? Is that... Is it in the actual town? Yeah, I guess it looks, it looks like it is, so... <laughs> oh, here we go. It has begun. Across the lands, the banners of the yellow turbans are being raised. Hastened by the defection of Tang Zhu. A call to arms has gone up from the Emperor, and all across the lands, troops are being gathered to defend the Empire from this threat as brother fights against brother. Okay. Here we go. The Mandate War. Holy shit, here we go. With rallying cries about a yellow sky, the rebels have shown their true face. These are mere vagrants, wolves and disguised sheep wait, wolves disguising themselves as sheep, tyrants masquerading as saviors. Show the people who really has the mandate of heaven. Eliminate them for the glory of China. China. All right, so now we are at war with everyone, which is why I got that mission. There we fucking go. Okay. Um, Shang Rui, I'm assuming you're family of the person I just started trading with. Sounds good to me. I'm not interested in any of these people right now. I haven't got any fucking money. Actually, I do. I have a little bit of money, but still. All right. Um, so yeah, now there might actually be an army there. Well, we know there's an army there, because it just told us there's an army there. I can't really leave the town, though. I think i got to get rid of this right now and build a patrol building to get a better garrison here. I mean, that's got to be too that's too important not to do right now. No assignments. Um, oh God, I'm not really even up, keeping up with chat either. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. Start the rebellion yourself. Fucking, f oh yeah, there's a rebellion spawn right there. Spawn of rebellion forms. Uh, there's no forest where I can hide either. Like I, I am tempted to put like an ambush here because we know there's an army in there. I just have no idea how large it is. Like ambush him, yes. Like I could, I could, I could sit here and ambush him. But for one, he might not even come towards me, and two, this army will just be further away. Right? If they go towards the farmland, there's no nothing I can do about it. The main army is over here, though, because they just took this. So, I'm pretty sure. Because he had three times just now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just took that. So, the main army's got to be there, and there's got to be a small one here. But I can't really go chase that one either, because there's an army here. So, I have to do something. I think I am going to try an ambush, even though I'm not fully replenished right now. We still have, you know, we have amount, uh, we have slightly less men than him. We outrange him. It's He's got lots of infantry, but we're all right on infantry. We have better infantry, generally. Experience is all, whatever. He does have the Tyrant Slayers, but as long as we can shoot them down, it'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we're gonna do it. I lose the Mustering Bonus. Ooh. Ooh, it's Liu Chong. Oh my god, that almost changes things. If he was in range here, I'd totally fucking go for it, but he's not. Um, yeah, let's try an ambush. Fuck it. Fuck it, boys. Let's do it. Fuck it, you son of a bitch. Let's fucking go. Um... And I guess I didn't have any rebel spawn, because I'm pretty sure that was with that event that it spawned. Oh yeah, he's going to take that soon. Oh man, I'm going to be surrounded in a minute. If they take that as well... Oh boy, I might be fucked soon. This will be fun. Um, any diplomacy? I think I already looked at that. But let's quickly check any ministry acts. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, Liu Chong. What say you? Oh god, you say yes. You, you say yes. Tenfold. Um, you are... You're okay on money, but you're not really willing to pay me much in that form. So why don't you pay me a lot like this? Um, yeah, I'll take... I'll take 1,500 bucks. I'll take 1,490 bucks. I'll take 1,480 bucks. There you go. Good man. I should have checked if you had any um, ancillaries, actually, but still... Then, oh boy, this is just like, this whole campaign is just diplomacy in the beginning. This is going to be pretty meh, I can already tell. Um, do you have any, actually, yeah, do you have any incendiaries? Surely, surely you don't. Well, in that case, I'll take 700 bucks. 700 and 
fine. I probably shouldn't make such a big deal out of it. Fuck it. Um, then again, I am a min-maxer, so I suppose that comes with the territory. Soon John, what do you say? No, I say no. Then we have Yuan Shu. 3.0. You got some money for me. You got a marriage for me. Really? Your daughter, eh? Would you, would you do you want that? No, you want, to, you want me to pay for it. You'll pay for this! Do you have any ancillaries? You do, but that's that's a bit too expensive for me. That's a bit too... Too expensive for me, I'm afraid. Um, did you have any money? Nope. Do you have any normal cash you want to part with? Ooh, you do, actually. Um, 700? Is that too much? A little bit. 680. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Are there any beep poopers here? Is, uh, is Legend streaming? Or you mean the actual guy called beep poop? Uh, Liu Biao, what say you against some... Oh, you do say yes. Have you got any ancillaries before I start asking for money again? Begging. 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 Oh, that's going to be great. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. This man's fucking got cash for days. 1250 There you go. Oh, we're going to have a lot of money right now. Okay, who else? The Han Empire themselves, why not? Yeah, eh, 1.6 isn't going to cut it. We have no more major factions, and I'm guessing all these other ones are not going to do much for me. Although, if you're willing to pay me, like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, that's still worth it, because you're going to die soon, right? May as well take the money from them first, before they die. Thanks, mate. Um, Ding Yuan, you're going to survive for a while. Oh, God, that's a lot, though. Any ancillaries? Get your ancillaries here. Uh, any money? Nope. Regular money. Let's say you to that. Eh. 700 bucks again. It's not bad. It's just, I, yeah, he might actually survive for a while. You know, when everything falls apart, I don't necessarily want to have great relations with these people. But I suppose for now it's okay. I can always break it when I do plan on attacking him. I'm sure there's plenty of people that I will be... Wanting to stay friends with for a while anyway. Bian Zhong. Nope. Uh, Yuan Yi. Did I try you already? Oh, that's a good one. Ancillaries. Ooh, I'll have that. Ooh, I'll definitely have that instead if I have to choose. Which I will. Um, yeah, I'll take the rope. Thanks. The rope I'll actually use. 8.0. I should have checked how much money he had first, to be fair, but... Nope. Man, we're almost going to do something, guys. Just, you know, hold on a little bit longer. 2.4 isn't going to cut it. And Liu Yan, 5.4. You got an ancillary for me? That's a nice weapon. I'll take that for sure. I can give that to my dude, in fact. Uh, oh, really? Okay. I guess it uh, comes down to me to pay you a little bit of money for once. How about one food? You have five foods. So you don't care for food. That oh, that's fine. Yeah, here's one food for you. Thanks. Surprised you actually cared that much about a single food. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to give that uh, weapon to you. There you go. And... Do I want the armor for you? I think... I don't remember what I do. No, I think I'm okay. No horses. I can give you that one. Another six right there. Okay, this guy's buffed out as well now. I got six resolve for you, which is more HP. It's not bad. I think I'm okay. We have the other part of this. Jade sickle. No, we don't. That's probably like eight cunning or something. All right. Seven grand, we can't really spend it. Well, I could, but I don't really want to because I'm going to build the uh, thing, the patrol building here first. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. All right, here we go. Zhang Baumu's first. Uh, oh, he's fucking off the... Oh, he's going towards my... Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should trade my farmland for his. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could reach my own farmland in time anyway, so I feel like it's probably worth doing. There goes Huang Xiao. You better not come towards my little piece of land, you little bastard. Chiao Mao. Loyal versus dutiful. Okay, I guess we'll be better friends with Huang Fuzong. He's already our, our good friend. Our oh, good friend. Oh, you guys don't even like each other. What the fuck? I assumed you were big friends. They, these guys like each other, but apparently he doesn't. Um, new faction. Okay, South South finally has a, an actual town now. Demolish that building, right? So we're going to build the military infrastructure so we get more garrison there. And happiness as well, which is nice. A little bonus. Okay, so... Man, I'm surprised he didn't... He did actually 
we'll go here instead. So we're gonna lose our level free farmland. I don't know what level this one is. It's probably worse, but yeah, actually that's a good point. But I can't reach him, so what I could do is like he's gonna take it, and then I can, you know, I I attack him next turn. I might as well just take this first, right? And then just go that way anyway. There's no reason to not take this on the way, I suppose. Maybe this will make him come back. Probably not, but, you know. Um, this is just a regular field battle, I imagine, yeah. It's low losses, but it's not, like, super amazing. So let's just do an actual battle. Legend's not on this day, so I just came here. I want to know if you if there are legend lovers in the chat. There's a couple, I think. Selling food. Liu Hong has minus nine deficit. Really? It said he had very high a moment ago. That's why I didn't bother even checking him. Although I'm pretty sure he doesn't pay much money per turn anyway, so it's all right. Oh, I also need to check who the best commander here is because it's probably him instead of him. So I need to change that around as well for more movement, perhaps. Um. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we have no special abilities, we're just dealing- yeah, this is fucking garrison, what am I- what am I doing here? Um, so let's take, like, this on the left side, and then we'll take this on the right side. Mr. Smart Dog, you wanna use groups? Get that one out of the way. Um, make ourselves a line. We have no special abilities on this unit, which is a bit surprising, judging from the fact that we have a strategist in here, which means that that unit just doesn't have any special abilities. You guys are gonna be my, like, like anti cav units from the flanks, which there's no cav in. Well, actually, no, there are some cav in the garrison, isn't there? So we, we can use that. And then you just have stifling deluge, which is completely pointless here. All right. Let's make our way forward. We, ha we outrange them, so I guess that's. Well, oh God, this, this place is horrible for placing an army. I want to be across all the way with my entire force, but then I might be running into their range, so. Um, let's go over here, I guess. Oh, God, that's... All these fucking farms! Why did we attack a farmland? <laughs> oh, God. My, um... I'm holding all for too long. It's like sw switching the keyboard. No! Can you guys see that? Probably not. Oh, God, it's fucked up. It's all fucked up now. Gee... Oh, oh gee whiz. Oh, jeez, Rick. Okay. I held all for so long. Um, popped up while you're negotiating access, maybe I saw it wrong, but you're right, this, his GPT is pretty bad, okay. I know I'm right, I'm always fucking right, are they gonna come to, no, they're just shifting around, aren't they? Let's just get the, uh, crossbows up by themselves then, so I can, I'll make a new line here. And then we'll just kind of put you guys there, and then, uh, you know what, no, let's put them behind. Um... Because we're outranging them anyway, so start shooting at them. It's not like such a big deal out of this, man. In fact, let's triple speed this for a while. What have I been doing here? I'm being too careful. All the fucking civilians are running away. Why'd they keep farming when they saw my army was here? They, they were just sitting there farming. Look at these guys, they're still going. They're like, yeah, I mean... <laughs> as long as I stay more than 100 meters away from us, we'll uh, just keep on going. How the fuck does that work? Is this... God, okay, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I gotta move forward, forward a little bit more anyway before I can actually fire. Okay. Let's put you there. I'm not, Yeah, I'm not too worried about getting shot down anyway, so... I can put these guys further up a little bit. Your guys are gonna go all the way around, though. If they send the calf towards us, that's totally fine. Towards my calf, that is. I always said rather they didn't. Alright, we're shooting at this unit. It's already fucking... Unhappy about the situation of being shot. Morale is minus two, they're gonna rout. What the fuck? It's not even a night battle or anything. What's going on? Okay, well that worked. Oh, have they got... They got fucking wooden stakes. What's going on here? You're not allowed wooden stakes. You're a, you're a garrison army. Fuck, what the fuck do you think you're doing here? Alright. Well, I'm liking this uh, them not doing anything about the fact that I'm shooting them in the fucking face hole, so... Keep that up, I suppose. Oh boy. Oh, okay, fine. Just put one... What the... What is happening here? Help! There we go. Alright, crossbows. Have at it, boys. They've routed again. Okay, their ranging is coming forward now. Let's get our line up. Sooner rather than later, if you wouldn't mind. 
军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。Enemy unit fucks off, cowards. Time to get you guys around this way for the dealing with the archer units. In fact, that's like all they've got left now, except for the cav. Let's get, let's just fucking get in there, boys. You guys are gonna go and shield wall just to make sure we don't die too rapidly. I probably should, you know what? Yeah, I should just, I should have been more aggressive with the cav. I didn't realize that we we're just gonna murder all our infantry so quickly. Just get, just get, just, just fucking get in there. Just fucking do it. You stop them from being annoying. Um. Yeah, we're being shot in our actual crossbow unit, which isn't great. On our crossbow unit. God, our cap's horribly slow. Horrendous! And we lost sight of the unit we were charging, so we decided to sign a stop there and not do anything. Great. Fucking fantastic, boys. Well done. Alright. Well, I think we're about to be done here. Uh, probably shouldn't charge into the unit that has spears facing towards us, but you know. You know how it is. When it's counter-charging you, you just go in. You just destroy it real quick. There you go. Although I'm surprised at their morale being completely unaffected. They're minus 76, but it's... There you go. And all of a sudden, they instantly, instantly rout. Alright, there we go. Wait. Oh, shit, now don't burn the fucking puddle they put there. Also, I totally forgot about the fact that they have stakes here. I don't think we ran the freedom, though, so I guess it worked out. Alright. What a terrible battle, but it worked. Definitely would have lost more if I had auto resolved it, so. Mostly just a crossbow unit took damage. That's honestly really it. So it's okay. Lost 148 dudes. Whatever will I do to recover from this? Alright, what time? What level was this? Okay, it was level 3, so I'm gonna do a straight trade. Level 3 for level 3. Farmland, farmland. Fair enough. I can deal with that. Plus 2 food production sold on markets. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. That's like if you upgrade... Do I have one of those? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, if you upgrade this one to that that one, and then you upgrade it further. Like, you get an extra plus two per one of these buildings, I guess, because that's sold on markets. This one is just farming. So, wait, but it, hold on. But it kind of counteracts it is what it means. Plus two food production. So if you... Hmm. So if you sell it on the markets, you get like you, you lose the food, but you get money for it. And then if you use this, you get a little bit of food back, basically. Which sounds like it's okay. But the downside is that you like you lo you lose a ton of food, right? It's not just a it's it's not just minus six that you get from this. No, it's you, you would otherwise have free food. So really it's a it's a it's a shift of nine. You lose nine food for that one. And the higher you go, like you would gain four, you lose twelve, so you lose sixteen really. So, like, I never built that building. It's just not worth it. And thus, that book is basically shit as well. Because plus two, like, the, the higher level you go, the more useless it becomes. But, of course, I will equip it for now, because why not? But it's the first one to go for the moment. And then we got a brown furrow bread. Great. Why don't we just pop that on one of you guys? Um, I'll give it to you. I'll give it all up for you. Right, I was going to check who the best general is. You're plus 10 morale. We have 10% chance of uh, avoiding... Wait, that's army. Sorry, I'm looking at uh, commanding army, which is nothing for this guy. And then you got range fire rate and military supplies. Okay, so it's you for now. Um, okay, so that was that. Now we got to kind of just see what he does. He might come back. He might go take my farmland. I mean, that make, makes sense to me if he were to do that. If he does, we trade it and I can go and attack him back and then at least it's easier. We can easier defend from that, I think. Because um, these two towns are much closer together. So, great. Uh, we already done a whole load of diplomacy, so let's not do any more. I'm pretty sure we did all of it that we needed to do anyway, so that's fine. We have no food to set. Actually, we have 13 food now, but we're about to lose a whole bunch. Right? He's on minus nine, so let's have a look. So would you... Yeah, his, he doesn't want to pay me gold per turn. And, oh, that's pretty terrible as well. What the fuck? I guess because his income is terrible, but still. That's surprising. Alright, you better not fucking come back and attack me, because I'm building a building that gives me more garrison. So if you were to attack me this particular turn, I'd be incredibly uh, angry at you. So, and you don't want me to be angry, do you? No, you don't. No, you fucking don't, you little bastard. God damn it, he's doing it. Um. Okay, well, I think we'll fight this one. Got a chance of killing some units. Probably triple speed the most for the most part, but still. This is nice. Thank you, Ivor Starkey.
I'm glad you're enjoying this. Um, yeah, we're going to lose this one, obviously, but if I focus down on certain units, I might be able to actually do some killing. And we have anti-cav, but they have no cav, do they? No, they have some. Oh, yeah, they got the tire slayers. You know what? If I could try and focus them down, that'd be fantastic. Let's do that. Um... Oh boy, man. Spear Warriors look even more similar to G-Militia now. That's a, a change I don't like that much. I mean, they all look pretty similar in fairness, but... Um, yeah, they got more armor. So we'll put the more armor boys in the center. And then we'll put the spears on the flanks. The G-Militia spears. They're all spears, obviously, so... And I'm missing you. Where the fuck are you? You're also a G-Militia. Well... Fan bloody tastic. We got an extra fucking cat or spear unit in reserve. That's how that's how easy this battle is going to be. We have units we can put in reserve right now. Um, I could try and corner camp, but that's just you know a bit too cheesy for my liking. Probably should have tried sitting up between these little buildings, though. In fairness, but I also should have probably just set up closer just to make this happen faster. But meh. The only thing I really want to do here is kill the Tyrant Slayers. If I can kill any other unit, like an Archer or something as well, then I'll take it. But the Tyrant Slayers, if I can take them down, obviously they'll get replenished over time, but just having them lower than full when we engage them next time would be good. And they're right up there. I'm going to run this guy over here, though, just in case they decide to attack around there, because there they are. <laughs> There are the bastards. I'm definitely gonna focus like all units on that unit. Cause they have no they have 36% armor, but obviously no shield or anything, so they go down pretty rapidly. Let them come. There is yet one dwarf in Moria that still draws breath. Alright, we're almost ready to fire. Gonna make sure everyone is in range, so they're gonna start moving around, which is what my units are doing right now. Okay. Fire! What? What are you saying? We're being pushed back. I mean, well, what'd you expect, you little shit? Take him down! Legolas! Take him down! The, the reason I'm scared of these guys, by the way, is because they are a slayer of heroes, which gives them. Um, fighting against or dueling other heroes on the battlefield, they will find their skills or, and prowess much improved. Which, by the way, the fact that that says when fighting against or dueling, that makes me think that maybe that's going to be something they're going to use more often in the future for like specific generals or heroes they'll give that ability to. Um, like to make them, like for example, uh, a champion or something, they'll give that to to make it even, even better at uh, dealing with other heroes. Can we bring him all the way down to six men? That'd be fantastic, but I'm I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not gonna happen. Eighteen men remaining. Oh, Alright, fucking fire at will then. And then triple speed, because I'm not gonna try anything here anymore. There's nothing else I can do. But we, we reduced them a decent amount. They'll probably be fully replenished by the time we fight them again though, so this is essentially completely pointless really, but oh well. Hello Azim again. How are you doing, dude? Hey there, Mr. Donkey, how's Luigi so far? Um, yeah, it's fine. I mean, uh, so far, this is like the second battle of the campaign besides like the initial battle, so there's not really been too much battling. We literally just traded uh, towns. He took my, well, I took his farmland, he took my farmland, so it looks like he may have demolished it one level as well, which is kind of suck if he did, but. Because I'm gonna fuck. Who's gonna afford this shit, huh? Who's gonna build this, this shit back up? Me. All right, and then Liu Chong's on the offensive as well, but he's yeah he's losing his towns back here. I'm pretty sure. Han Fu's gone. There you go. So it was a good good choice to, for me to loot, take some of that money first. We declared war on some random faction. Okay, the Liang Rebellion. Concerning news arriving from the western territories of the Empire, some groups of auxiliaries, sensing an opportunity, rebelled against the Han and begin begun terrorizing nearby counties. Okay. Hey, there's Han Fu. There's the man himself. Diligent agriculturalist. Agriculturalist? Yeah, that's how you... No, that's a... He's not bad, actually. Half-tempted, but... And there's Zhang Hong. Also Han Fu. No, he wasn't part of Han Fu's faction. So it was just Han Fu that became available. Interesting. 
Um, we lost trade with Bay. Oh, that sucks, actually. I didn't consider that. So we did actually lose something from it all. We could have had it all. All right, patrol building is built, so we got a decent garrison here now. It's not huge or anything, but it definitely helps having an extra couple units there. And now I can upgrade either one of these two buildings. I think the, far, the port... We're probably going to stick to food, though, so I imagine it will just stick to this, but... Having some extra income from commerce is not bad. So we're going to upgrade that first. Eh, yeah. Right. Now, the decision I have to make here is, do I focus on this place first? Or do I go straight to taking this back? Like, it's kind of on the way, but it's also a town. It's a little free town, though, so there's no walls. But there is an army, as far as I'm aware. Then I've also got another choice, is, like, do I move all the way towards the town or towards him either way it's like you know around the same area or do i stick over here and replenish fully which you know is worth something of itself but if i go all the way here i have a choice next turn to go either there or there depending on what his army does so i lose on the replenishment there's also of course the chance that they could like kind of double team me but because it's not the same faction i guess that won't work out too well for them because then one of them will have to move first put the army next to me then the other army will, go, will attack me, then I run away, and then obviously the first army can't move anymore because they've already had their turn. So yeah, I think I'm going to move all the way, and I'll move towards this place. Okay, there's nothing there, so I probably will take it on the way. But we'll see what Zhang Liang does. If he sits there, I'll take this. If he runs towards my, cap my capital, then obviously I'll have to attack him. I hope he doesn't take this from me because that would be kind of shit. But... Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, any diplomacy? Um... Oh boy, yep, we already knew about that though, didn't we? Soon Jan was not worth it, otherwise I would have taken it last time. It's a little bit better now. Um, nah. Nah, I'm gonna pass on that for now. Then we have no court stuff, no reforms. We got nothing to do really, and no food to sell really. No, let's end turn, I guess. How the fuck that Lu Xi becomes a governor? Well, that's what he is. Also, oh shit, we're being attacked. Wow, he's doing it. He's bloody doing it. The bla the, the bloody bastard. Okay, so they are still wounded, which is good. My army's a little bit wounded as well, but not too bad. We are outranging him. They out infantry me, but only a little bit. And again, we have superior units. Although gallants of the people are pretty good. Um, the character character wise, I mean, yeah, we're probably okay. I'm sure that guy's better than what we have he's got um oh he wants a jewel okay so we want to probably stay away from him jewel wise and then he's got enabled of health below 20 percent more morale and armor oh man that's a pretty big buff it's 100 meter range for 60 seconds okay so it only happens once and then he's got oath swarm with someone else as well or friend anyway all right yeah i think this will be all right um we have no real you know, it's just, it's pretty much straight up, but this is a straight up battle. He has a thousand more men than me somehow, but probably because I have six cab units. So I just gotta use the cab effectively. He only has free range units, which means I don't have to worry too much about getting my calf killed. So really, sorry, really, um, it's just a matter of making, hoping that the line holds as long as possible. And just charging shit in the back once I've dealt with the range units. Shouldn't be too crazy of a battle. The tactics will be pretty pretty straightforward. The downside, of course, of these guys is that the shield wall sucks, because hap that happens, essentially. You can't really use them particularly well as a line. But I'm okay with that. I'm just going to make our line here. I got the G boys. They have... They have yeah, they had one unit cap, the Tyrant Slayers. That was it. Okay, so that that's pretty good. And then our four range units, which is, you know, low, but they only have three, so in this case it kind of works out that we don't have a huge amount. Um, and we'll have three cav on either side, as per usual. And then the boys in the center. If we had, because this guy also gets hail of arrows at a certain point, if he had it right now, oof. Would not have any worries in the world, but it also kind of ruins the campaign a little bit, as it did in the Liu Chong one, or is doing in the Liu Chong one. Especially when I we have our second character also have the ability. That'll be stupid. Wang Rao also, by the way, would be a great target for a jewel. Um, oh, sorry, not for a jewel, for our calf to uh, to attack. And we have the Destroyers of Treachery. We have good calf units as well. We just gotta make sure we stay away from their 
Tyrant Slayers, but there are only 28 of them, so it's not a huge amount. Um, I'm gonna spread you guys out a little bit, send you this way. And since their only cav unit is here, I really probably should move them around there as well, just to be absolutely sure. Nah, fuck it. No, I'll keep them over here. Give myself more actual units here. Alright, well, not a whole lot of shit I can do here. I'm gonna move just a little bit up that way. And shift a little bit that way. Fucking ambush, sons. Oh boy. Um... Yeah, they do have a lot of fucking infantry. We, it, basically, the thing is here is we're gonna have to find the perfect time to attack. We have to hold the line. Hold the line. Love is an okay. Um, but yeah, we gotta hold the line and not charge too soon with the cab because then obviously we get caught off. Um, like we get caught by their anti-cab units in the field. We we need them to be already engaged with our infantry. Congratulations on the engagement. Ha 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 Jesus Christ, I can move slightly further away from each other so I don't get that massive fuck up that ever happens every time. Okay, they're charging me now. Also, hopefully we shoot that unit. It's probably the worst unit they've got, but it's also the easiest one to kill with ranged. The easiest one to kill with ranged damage. I'm also actually going to focus on their ranged unit so I don't have to worry about them too much with Markav. Uh, no, right, that's the thing I was going to do, is you're going to decline jewels, and you're okay for now, but I will decline. I shall decline, thank you very much, but I am not too interested in your jeweling. I am honored, as they say, that you would choose me for your jewel, but no thank you, sir. I shall pass. You shall not... No, no. I do believe I was clear the first time. I should probably just say no altogether. Just fuck off. Alright, fine. I'll, tire, I'll, I'll slay the tyrants. Uh, let's kind of hang around with the other units, to be honest. Okay, let's get some melee evasion going. Let's get these guys around here now, because these guys are almost all in there. Okay, you guys have fucked that unit up. You fucked him up. You're going to just line up over here again and start shooting at whatever the fuck you want to shoot at. Um, Tyrant Slayers are being Tyrant Slain. <laughs> um, well, we gotta fucking run them soon. So we got some Spears coming in, and I don't like it. Let's get these behind the line now. Okay, there we go. We got rid of them. You guys, you're going in there. You're going in there. You're gonna go around this way. Because now this is the time where I gotta do shit quick. Okay, you're just gonna line up and shoot at whatever the fuck you wanna shoot at. You're gonna go in there. You're going to go around this way, actually. Um, and then you're going to go in here. You're going to pull out of there. You're going to pull out of there. Talking about engagements, about pulling out. What's going on here, dudes? Okay, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Don't don't get attacked by that unit now. Don't get attacked by that unit now. I don't really want to fight these guys. Ooh, you've killed. You've actually routed them. Bloody well done, guys. Get in there. Got some more units I can charge again. You need to get out of there. Get out! Get out! You can actually go in there, because that's just infantry dudes. You can start killing the Scholar guy. Ooh, and buff them again as well. Nice. You are gonna go... straight up on in, in, in here. As I try to say. I know how to speak the language. Okay, that unit came back from routing. Let's just get towards them. You and you, get the fuck out of there. You charge back in there. You need to get the fuck out of there. Uh, you have absolutely demolished them. You've got another unit in there that needs to get out of there as well. Fucking happy I got six calf today. Ooh, god, what happened to you? What? Oh my god, what's happening to all my units? Taking lots of damage here. Uh, ooh, okay, hold on. This sounds like a great opportunity for you to do some damage there. Okay. Full on charge from all sides. There we go. We got a full unit over here that needs to go do some fucking work. Do some fucking work, boys! What are you doing? You're gonna go kill uh, Zhang Liang over here. You're probably not gonna do it, but you're gonna try. And that's, you know, that's all that matters, really. Okay, our calf's taking a good amount of damage from actually doing these charges, but... Ah, oh, victory is almost fucking near! I'm gonna take out one of the big factions today. 
Okay, you've messed them up. Let's get in here. Actually, get over here towards him. You come over this way. Give me some fucking melee evasion, boys. This unit's about to route over here. Let's get some uh, reinforcements in there. All up in here now. Cav, charge in there. All of these boys, charge in there. The gallons of the fucking people are holding me back a little bit here. There's one over here as well. And, right, I've got you guys in there. Let's get you out of there. Get me out of here. I actually don't want to kill him, do I? Because he's got that big buff that I'm going to give him. Which is not good. No ammunition. No, it's not the, that's like the best thing that I want to hear as a negative message, essentially. Okay. Go kill them. Uh, you come over here. I have like four units of cav. Three, four units of cav in here. That's not good. Get them out of there. Um, don't kill them. That's a waste. Just come over here and kill them. You're about to route, but eh, stay in there. We're about to win that one. You came back from routing. That was the like, only unit that we've had route so far. Although our cav are all pretty damn close. And there go all the generals. Go fucking chase them, boys. We did it. We done the did it, boys. Well done. Let's kill them all off. Make sure they don't come back. Leave now. And never come back! Said so, the beloved character Gollum from the franchise. Not my joke. Um, yeah, kill them, please. Kill them all. Really. That's my intention here. Sorry, my nose is filling up more and more as the evening progresses. If I can kill the characters, honestly, I think I may have, I may be able to kill everything here if we can kill the characters too. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that, to be honest. I think he'll probably go down. Wang Rao. Always remember to pull out after engagement to avoid a major disaster. <laughs> exactly. This guy gets it. I'm pretty sure everyone gets it. Okay, you need to get the fuck out of the way because the real boys are coming through now. The real boys. What do you got? 28. Kill a couple more. That unit does not need killing. That one does not need killing. That one's literally a single dude. I think we'll be okay. They're gone. Gone, gone. They're not gone. Okay, that unit is actually going to survive. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to them in time. Uh, they're gone. It's mostly just the characters now. They're gone. They're gone. They just gone already, yeah? You're gonna kill them off. Yeah, it's a tough unit that is, but it'll be alright. Yeah, we're not doing anything to him. And this is Li, Lu Ji attacking Zhang Liang, so that's not gonna go too well either. So it's mostly the characters, but I mean, they've this this was their turn, right? So they've already moved, so I can just tag them next turn, kill them off, take the town, and then take their town, the one they took from me. And then... Boom goes the dynamite. Fucking kill them, boys. Triple speed this shit now. And that, oh yeah, and that unit's gonna get away, but again, it's not gonna matter. Question, what did Lu Ji die from in 192 AD? Assassination, says CV the Destroyer 2. Never answered my question, man, after the first one. Why did CA go straight down with their historical games, lol? Wait, hold on. Um, look at Shogun 2 and look at this. Uh, I don't know what you mean. This game is great. That actually sounds sarcastic, but it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> um, yeah, they've gone away. Okay, well, I think we've got everything done. Maybe the 42 archers, but I'm not sure. No, I, I, yeah, I don't know what you mean. Uh, Shogun 2 is great, but this game is also great. Uh, so units that survived, this one did. And that is actually it. So the, the characters, two of them. Is victory condition the same as vanilla? So there's kind of two different victory conditions in this, which is... The first one is to basically deal with the Yellowstone Rebellion. So you kill all three. There's like a, you can lose the campaign if they take fifty something towns um, and something else, and you can win the campaign by taking care of all three of the Zhang brothers. Basically, taking care of their factions. Uh, ooh, a stone pig. See ya. Seven percent replenishment. It's a lot of money, but we have a fair amount of money right now. So I'm actually going to take the seven percent, especially because we're not on our own territory. Um, but then after that, the Mandate of Heaven. I haven't actually played past that point yet. Oh my god, he made it all the way back to his town? I, I gotta finish him off first, I think. If I can reach, which I should be able to, because we already measured it beforehand. Although we're not on our own territory now. Ugh, that would suck if I can't reach, but we'll see. Then I guess I can take that town. Not really a huge deal. Can I, though? No, I most definitely can't, but that's horrible. Alright, well, he's gonna replenish most of the army then. Yeah, that stuff's all gonna come back, but... Oh, well, because he ran, though, it takes an extra turn. That's good. Or maybe maybe it's because it was his turn. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, 
But yeah, so yeah, basically this right here. So the yellow turbans capture fifty counties and control Luoyang. Then they win. If we kill all of that, all of them, we win. But then the game still continues, and you still do the actual free kingdoms victory condition. Because by that, like at a certain point, the emperor gets assassinated. The empress gets assassinated, or she leaves, or whatever. Um, and then you know Dong Zhou comes in, takes Luoyang, etc. Um, and then it just becomes uh, the free kingdom. So now it says this guy right here, but then it becomes like an empty slot and an empty slot and an empty slot. And then you just do this stuff and it'll say here, you know, China, I bring it all and proceeds under your control by owning 95 counties. So it's the same as before, but it's like, it's like two, it's like a two step kind of victory condition. The nine chapters of the mathematical art. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We've got a level up for both dudes. Can we get, um, hold on, which ones are they? It's these two right here. Okay, so we're going to go for this one first. As much as I do want battle running speed for his retinue, pretty important. If we go for these two, we get the replenishment and the um, campaign movement range, which is pretty damn useful as well. And you've got to level up as well. So we're going to go for night battles. Yeah, that's very, very handy. Very handy indeed, I'll tell you. All right, well, so yeah, since we can't reach that, we take the town, which I do have to fight manually, I think. And it'll be an, an annoying one. They have some bringers of peace, which are unbreakable. That's even more annoying. Oh, man, that is actually really annoying. I could starve them out, but I really, I gotta, do, I gotta get shit done quick. I will starve them out for a second, so I get to do some other stuff first. Um, although I don't think there's much to do, because there's no buildings to build. There's... Oh, my neck. There's nothing to do diplomacy-wise, really. Um, nope, I guess we just we just got a battle. We have to, but uh, I'll make it a night battle. Minus morale on the unbreakable dudes. Could you see yourself doing a modder play for free in the future, like Hooveric overall or Radius? I'll never say never to that kind of question, but... Um, I don't see myself doing any kind of mods anytime soon, and I probably will never see myself doing Radius. Um, did... Wait, Donkey, did you having a cold? I'm having a cold right now. This is bullshit. I've had a cold for like a week and a half, and I'm getting super tired of it. I called the doctor, and they said, Oh, sorry. There's not much we can do about it right now. Like, I, um, if you have it for two full weeks, then call us back and you can come by. But for now, they're like, sorry, man, but um, it'll probably go away. I'm like, oh, that's, that's fucking great. Thanks, assistant of the doctor who knows everything. Um, ah, we got turtle formation now. Okay. Okay, that's good, because then I can do my cheesy strategy. And I will. Because I'm, I can't do that with these guys. Um, I'll just pull up all the cab over here somewhere. Just might be able to use them at some point. You guys sit over here. You're gonna sit back here. Oh yeah, you have a bow, and you have as well. I should be using that. And then all of our crossbows. All right. Turtle formation. Move up here somewhere. And then you guys are gonna move right behind. And they have some archers, but that's okay. It's the cheesy tactic that I use every single time and always works. It is very helpful. Not being able to get hit in melee or in range is like a pretty pretty effective. Alright, we're well in range already, so I guess we could start firing, but I may as well just get all the way there. Try drinking pan panadol soluble. What the fuck is that? The fuck you trying to you trying to fucking get me killed? Huh? Time to drink poison over here? Yellow turban warrior captain. Who I wonder who the captain is. Is it the guy who's dead on the floor around here somewhere? Ha! Ha. Alright, there goes one. Next! Next! Get the fuck out of here. Redeemed out loss. Who the fuck you gonna redeem, huh? Alright, we're half out of ammo. We've only killed two units so far. Oh yeah, these guys only have 60 men though, so that's good, I guess. I do kind of need to use these to kill the rangers as well, though. Maybe we stop firing for a second, because we are running out pretty quickly here. 34. Oh, boy. We're almost out. You should have kept moving anyway. 
Oh, where the fuck are you guys going? Hold on, if I run into range real quick, I can shoot the... Uh, oh, hold on, they're already in range. Shoot the bringers of peace, because they have 100%... Or they have uh, 100 morale, but they don't have... They have 32% armor, and there's only 60 of them, so... <laughs> Fucking kill them. Great target. You two focus that one, you two focus that one, please. I don't give, I don't give a fuck about this shooting here. I'm <laughs> kidding, we just not my route of that one anyway. Nice, okay, route of ammo on one unit. We can get the fuck out of here. And... You guys all shoot that one there, because that one's one guy. Took got two units of ammo left, one unit of ammo left. 6% ammo, we did kill the guy in the back as well. Eight men remaining, and we're out of ammo. Alright, here we go. Um, yeah, you guys can just run away. Let's get you and you to kind of finish the job here. I think you'll be okay. Although they do have quite a few towers, to be fair. But I've got you guys to back it up as well. Back it up and do it again. From the middle to the top, do it again. Alright, let's get the fuck in there, son. They're running away from me. Come back here. I probably should try and take the towers first before just fighting over here. Rally! The general needs our aid! One guy remaining. Alright, so the unbreakable unit's gone, so now I just gotta kill the rest of them. Okay, do we have the towers yet? I wanna make sure I get the towers before I move any further. We're gonna move into the range of many, many towers here, but... Alright, we're out of... Uh... There's no more towers shooting me, so we're good. Although there are infantry units shooting me now, so you know what? Stay in formation, because then they won't fire at you. Also worth having... Oh, they're still shooting. Um, let's go some cav inside, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, because there's too many towers, so I'm just going to get shot to pieces. Okay, we got that unit routing. I'm just going to route the last one then. But they're behind barricade. They're behind barricade. How are you gonna how are you gonna do this? You're gonna run around this way then. Alright, fair enough. Okay, make sure we take the tower before we chase the shooting off the field. It is worth chasing them off the field though, because that means I can get my archers over. You're fucking tired as hell already. What the fuck are you doing? What internation are you doing, sir? You guys just start moving that way too, I suppose. Alright, taking those towers. They're gonna fucking come back inside. Alright. Get up on in them to those units right there, please. And you're gonna route that one. Shouldn't take much killing here. Right, take the fucking thing first. Get out of here. There we go. Perfect. Good timing that. Okay. Quick. Let me claim my victory. That wasn't too bad. Beep boop. Beep donkey twice in one day. Here, I have another three cents. Thank you, dude. That's so that's so kind. It's medicine. I <laughs> I figured. Medicine probably doesn't exist in the Netherlands. Yeah, I've got a feeling too. Like I have the nose spray thing, but I, like I explained earlier today as well. Seven men. Ooh, that's good. Um You're only allowed to use it for like uh a week and then it like becomes unhealthy basically, because your nose gets addicted to it. And then it, like, basically it closes itself on purpose. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get more of this stuff. Fuck yeah. Alright. So that's, um... The first Zhang Bao territory down. I uh, got my straight back with Liu Bei. Fucking great. And the level up for Huang Fu Song. Right, so here's a question. Obviously, Hail of Arrows is so ridiculously strong that it might be worth skipping over this for a while. I mean, melee arm piercing damage is pretty decent. And the attack rate for him is pretty good as well. But I think we just skip over it, get it later, just so we can race towards Hail of Arrows. Like, we get something pretty trash right now. But we do get Diligence, and then Diligence is pretty good as well, and then Hail of Arrows. Also, I never really thought about this, but yeah, okay, he's not worth it. I was going to say, it might be worth looking at if I want to make him my heir, but no, he's fucking trash. Fuck this guy. I'll hope, I'll hope that um, um, Taishi Chi shows up again at some point. That'd be great. All right, I gotta convert this. I would get some things from it, but it's not a huge deal. I think I'd rather get this level four sooner rather than later. So we'll do that instead. 
make sure we got walls here, and then we'll convert this, and then we'll build stuff. Can we reach this in a single turn? No, we most definitely can't. Although I'm not sure if that's already calculating that this is my town, so I get extra movement speed. I'm not sure. Either way, if he gets that stuff back, it'll still be wounded. I can get there, you know, it doesn't matter that much. I'm more worried about, you know, another army coming from up here and taking this town back. So I'm, I'm almost tempted to do this just to get it done. But it saves me 500 bucks per turn. So I think I'm going to wait. And then if I see an army coming over, I'll be like, okay, no, I should probably finish it. But yeah, not a, I'm not really in a rush to do it right now. Anyway, um, so yeah, trade's been established again. So there's not much I can really do. Diplomacy hasn't changed any way, shape, or form. So let's end the turn. Do we have any books that we almost have or something? When 30 battles reach 10 million population, we're currently on 800,000. Okay. Uh, this one, level 10 faction leader. Fully upgrade a city. That's not going to happen for a long time. Occupy 10 settlements. Okay, that's not too bad. 50 faction support faction wide. Oh boy, that's pretty pretty decent right there. Have you encountered any bugs in the DLC? I've had a sound bug. Sometimes the sound just cuts out and fucks off, and I don't quite know why, but during like the campaign part of it, that happens quite frequently, actually. And another bug I've seen a lot, well, not a lot, twice, uh, which is weird, but it might have something to do with recording. I'm not entirely sure, but it basically during a battle twice, um... Oh no, the mission was aboard. I'm guessing because the army was in here and it died. Um, uh, twice there was a yeah a visual bug where basically the um, the game just kind of half crashed and never covered itself again. But then it fucked up my stream and everything as well. So I don't quite know what that was. But bygone yin, hey, let bygones be bygones, man. All right, so that's unfortunate because our mission's actually pretty good. Whoa! Oh, you're fucking kidding me, man! This game. We can set up a pretty decent ambush, though. And he's probably not gonna move though because he's just replenishing his shit right now. I'm also might might just want to go across to take him out as well before that becomes a problem, which it already almost is, but not mine right now. Although if he takes this, which is already being besieged by yellow turban rebels, because he's taking that up there, but really he ought to be defending his own fucking provinces over here. That's his army too, though. God, what kind of an army is that? Seven range units and two strategists. Three, no, four melee infantry and a cab. Wow, what an army. Well done, dude. You really you really know how to build an army, don't you? All right, can I get one more trade, please? Uh, no, I can't, actually. I already have all of them. I can get trade influence, which is actually okay money. Character salary is not really a big deal right now. Um, we just go up this way. I mean, it's not a lot of money I can get right now. One available administrator position is not really that big a deal either. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not too fussed about it. This is actually really easy to reach. I don't really realize how easy it was. I just need level two temple, which is actually an okay building in this this mod, not mod DLC. Um, yeah, we'll start working towards the corruption reduction. I guess I need to get this at some point. So I need to build a tax collector. I think yeah. Um. I don't care too much about these things. I don't actually value them particularly highly. So I'm not too fussed about that either. I do want to get the food stuff, but I need to get this one first. So that's not really something I'm too, I care about too much right now. I'm, um, yeah, I think, yeah, this is always good. Because i got to go down that tree at some point anyway. So I guess we'll do that now. All right. All righty then. Um, let's... Just go on the yeah. We'll try and send an ambush. I mean, he's not gonna run into it, but I can still reach him next turn anyway. So I guess I'm okay with that. Ooh, actually, hold on. I'm not gonna do it, but no, okay, I can't. I can't quite. That's such a. I can just not quite reach that time. I can just not quite reach that one either. That's unbelievable. We have an eighty percent there. Hold on. Okay. Um, can I get an eighty percent closer to him as well, while still being in my own territory? Seventy. Oh, hold on, that was an eighty. That's like. The 80 is in a part where I can't actually move into. Yeah, all of the stuff is 70. Yeah, I can't. Okay, I can't actually get 80, so never mind. Fucking trying to lead me on here. Bastard game. Okay, let's just go there. Alright, cool. Next time we take this shit to piece of shit out, we got loads of unhappiness. That's good. We're gonna have rebellions up to fucking Wazoo in this campaign, I'll tell you that much. This needs to get upgraded real quick, actually, because of that. But that's okay, we got the money for it. Any diplomacy? Any good old diplomacy over here? 
yeah, many people that wanted to get another or a military access for me don't want it anymore. So that's interesting. Okay. Did you try paracetamol for your cold? That's enough for fever. No, paracetamol is just like painkillers, basically. I use it whenever I have a headache or something. So yeah, I have used it um, quite frequently recently, but not specifically for um, for a cold now. I don't think it even is for a cold or anything, or for fever or anything. It's just, just for painkilling. All right, rebellion's fucking happening next turn, so I gotta build this right now. So it cost me two grand, but yeah. And then I guess I'll either, no, I'll build the uh, military infrastructure first, just to get that done as well. Buildings, yep, I did build that. Uh, that's pretty good, all right. I like when I get random like books and scrolls and shit. All right, so this little shit uh, is replenishing pretty rapidly, but obviously it's not gonna make a huge difference yet. Did he also, did he, I can't, I don't know if he reduced this or not. It does look like it's level three again, but I'm not sure. Either way, uh, oh, hey, it's Leo Biao. We have military access, so I guess that's fine. What do we got here? A rebellion incoming, yep. And then we got an army with movement left. Yep, let's go and attack the farmland. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, a period of victory, apparently. Um, if it's, yeah, it's just gonna be a normal, normal fight. All right. Yeah, if I got here a, a turn sooner, it would've been much better. I could starve him out, and then he'll probably attack me, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's fight him. Yeah, there's no point starving him out, because he, he, he'll he just attack me anyway, and then I'll just, I just waste the turn of not owning the town. Waste the turn of income and food, etc. What are the best branches to go down? The tech tree, I always go for blue. Then a fair green. Then a max red. I've never gone for yellow. So yellow has all the corruption reduction stuff, which I value pretty highly. And has like character salary and stuff like that. And gen like income, generally. Um, but mostly it's the corruption stuff I care about. Um... Like red, I, I like red, but I never go down it because it has so much shit until you get to the good shit. Like the only good stuff I want from red is the cataphract units and that's like basically it. Um, purple, I almost never go down, like um, like just barely ever, even ever touch it. Blue, I only really get the, um, the trade ones and then sometimes trade influence, but it's not really that great. And then, because you can get very high trade influence by yourself anyway. And then the green one, I green one, I almost always max out the food stuff because you know just having more food is generally good. Uh, anyway, we are attacking them. Let's just pop our army over here somewhere. Let's just you know do the thing that we do every time, and it works out. Um, you guys over there, a little bit wider. Did they have any calf? Was it oh, the tyrant slayers? I guess are back again, aren't they? But they'll be wounded. That's a big fucking river right there. Well, river, lake even. Uh, you, you, oh my crossbows, that's not really, yeah, that's, that's fine for now. Are you gonna come and attack me? No, they're, well, actually they're moving fully, but they are, okay. Let's take this whole army, be like, yo, what's up, my dude? I actually don't know, I don't think he's coming towards me, which is fine, because we're outranged him. What the fuck do you think you're gonna do, my dude? What's your favorite unit from this DLC? Um, hmm, for the DLC specifically, haven't really thought about it yet. I haven't looked at all the units, I haven't tried all the units yet. So, oh, I mean, it's probably the Ballista, even though I haven't used it yet in any campaigns. Just generally, I like that kind of unit. Um... But I haven't tried all the units yet. Honestly, the Tyrant Slayers, I quite like the idea of them. The one that they've got, the camp they've got. But I haven't tried them yet, so I have no idea whether they're actually, you know, good or not. Um, the Destroyers of Treachery seem okay, but they don't seem to be, like, any more effective than their cavalry. Oh, I should have a look at actual kills properly. But yeah, their splash damage doesn't seem to be more effective. Like, a cav unit's already insane in this game anyway, so. Um, what else have we got? The Chen, or yeah, I think the Chen, the Chen Peacekeepers and the Chen Royal Guards or whatever, they, they look amazing and I just like the idea of them. Really solid units with a crossbow as well, like, 
sign me up. So I quite like them. Um, but yeah, as, as for actual f best units, or my favorite unit anyway, I, I, I don't know. I Probably the Ballista, just because, you know, it's a fucking Ballista and it's really, really effective and it's really good. But it's not like I made a list of my favorite units or anything. Strongbow is Mexican. He does look at it a little bit, doesn't he? With his little hat and everything. Um, let's just get you guys up front, I think. Let's put you there. And let's move you guys back up, Tad. Because then we're definitely in range, and they're still not in range, so I can just shoot freely for a little bit. We the Spearman Gang. <laughs> and obviously, if we kill them a little bit, they'll come towards me anyway. Alright, let's do it, boys. Oh yeah, we're shooting already. I can barely see it. We're throwing the shuttles again. Uh, uh. Come at me, fiends. Or I shall kill your entire army with ranged. I will go and grab some more ammunition before I come back, though. This seems like very. This seems very ineffective for the amount of ammo I'm wasting here. Also, they recruited some actual calf. Um. Yeah, I, I don't take any pleasure in this. This is a waste of ammo, man. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna pass on that one if you don't mind. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate the offer, but um. I'm quite alright, you know. Um, oh, there goes another unit. Great. They're, they're, they're in a town as well, which works out pretty well. Ooh, you are anti-cav, but I don't think this is really worth using you. 3v2. Let's try and get back behind the line. Alright. Um, yeah, you should definitely just have that. You probably as well, but... It's a scholar, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna fight your fucking scholars. The amount of shuttles they've got, though. Damn, I'm getting shuttled down over here. Alright, let's get the fuck in there and quick, because that's a lot of range they've actually got. I didn't really realize how much they had. We're basically in melee now, though, so it's not too big a deal anymore, but still. Get some of that sweet melee evasion in, boys. Uh, they have... Okay, they're gonna come towards my line now, that's good. You lost it. Obviously lost sight of the unit we're about to attack, great. Let's go straight into the big units, actually. Oh boy, they're fucking focusing us now, boys. Get in there quick. Okay, they're going around, I don't know what the plan is now, but... Let's send a couple of my calves towards theirs. If they don't want to engage, which... Eh, they might be... Itchy. No, they're... I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Charge him. Uh, no, let's have one of you go elsewhere. Kill these boys for me. Do something like that. Just do a little bit of a little bit of that. A little bit of Monica in my life. Um Yeah, I just gotta route him. I don't actually have to kill all of them. Ooh, we fucked up the cav unit. My goodness. Well done, boys. Let's get into on all of them range units, please, because they're really messing up my day right now. They're messing up my fucking day over here. What? How oh, dare you say that to me? Um, my ability's back soon. Ooh, you've actually you routed. Oh boy, you're almost fucking dead as well. We were probably getting targeted there. Ooh, that was that charge may have been a bit too far around. We got tagged on this unit. Get them out of here. Get these poachers out of here too. Alright, that should get rid of these peasant volunteers without too much trouble. And then you can line up and start charging over here. Are these guys 100%... No, they can't route. No, they can route. Get them on out of here. Well, you mosey on out of here now, boy. Kill them calf for me, please. Uh, you guys should have gone around as well, to be honest. Okay, they're gonna get fucked. They're all gonna get fucked. This guy's leaving, that guy's thinking about it. He's charging in the back of some spears, whatever, dude. See if I care about that nonsense. Um, you guys have dealt with that unit pretty adequately. Let's go kill him. Oh, we killed this guy, and then he got mad. So that's unfortunate. 
But it's just friendly mad, it's not um not oath sworn mad. Alright, I think it's time for you to leave. So I can just get out of here and win this here battle. If you wouldn't mind. Oh, there there yep, there's some mass rod on the horizon. I can feel it. There she there she blows, as they say. Wait, who's still going? Oh, this guy over here, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, and now he's like, wait a second, <laughs> the entire army's gone. I, I ought to leave as well, I think. I ought to get out of here as well. And he was right. Alright, I don't have to kill them all. So I won't. When is Troy a Total War Saga? Got out. Um, because... Or, or because? What the fuck? I, we, no one knows. There's no release date as far as I'm aware. Why don't Liu Chong anymore? Because uh, this is the next embargo drop today, so I'm now allowed to do another eight hours on. I could, I could, have, I, I'm, I was allowed to do the Liu Chong campaign, but now I'm also allowed to do Lu Xu, Lu Xi even. So I figured let's start a new campaign with Lu Xi, and then once on the ninth, once all the embargoes drop, or like all the stuff drops, essentially, I'm just allowed to play as much as I want on camera. Um, once I'm allowed to do that, then I will. Continue this campaign and the Liu Chong campaign. Occupado. Alright, I'm a noble. Sweet. That's my mission done as well. Alright. Replenishment. That's actually pretty useful right about now. Zhang Liang is fucking dead. See you later, dead boy. You're gonna go for that. And then I think we're gonna make you the leader of this arm this year army. I lose the range firing, right? But I think I'm okay with that for an extra 5% replenishment. This feels disgusting. Right, now we've got the arches in the back, but yeah, eh, it feels disgusting. You know what, actually, in this particular, in this game, it actually is worth having the strategist in the middle, because when you get ambushed, it's actually in a line, right? So this stuff's at the back. You can actually, you put them in the middle, and they're in the middle. More useful. So there's actually a reason to put them in the middle, but I just don't like the look of it. I want my, like, I want cav, infantry, well, actually, it's probably reverse for you guys, but... Left, anyway, cav, infantry, range units. Or if it's reversed, cav, infantry, range units. Um, but, you know. It's technically not, you know, the min most min-max thing you can do, putting it up like that, but whatever. Whatever, dude. Alright, so we've taken that. So now, I think we're just going to go north. So that's the first faction dealt with already. That's Xiang Liang gone. There's only three towns left, actually. That's these three right here. Man, they've been... <laughs> <laughs> so in the other campaign, uh, we had way more trouble. I think we're going to take care of all the yellow turbans pretty early on this one. I mean, there is Huang Shao who could become a problem for me if I don't deal with him myself. He's clearly had a battle recently, though. I don't know against who, but... May, maybe it may have been against Tao Qian, who doesn't own... Oh, I think he's dead. I think Tao Qian died in that battle. <laughs> because it's Tao Ying. He's not a faction leader here. Alright, you're gonna get yourself banned. Nice one, dude. Uh, not even timeout, just high use on his channel. Goodbye. Oh my god. Where are my mods? I have 235 viewers and I don't have a, I don't have a single moderator today? What the fuck's going on? Um, okay, do we have any deals to be making right now? Any military access to be sold? And eh, no. I don't think so. Calling Nikos. Uh, I guess he's not there since the tag didn't work. Um, a stream is well. I'm gonna go for another 25, 30 minutes or so, but not too much longer. Because again, I'm only allowed to do eight hours of streaming total with this embargo. So I'm gonna divide it between three streams again. So I'm doing another one tomorrow as well on this campaign. Um, I got a rebellion coming here. And then um, and then the last one, I don't know when. But on the first and second, I'll be streaming on the official Total War channel. Which I'll definitely put... I'll post shit on this channel as well, so people know. But uh, So yeah, I got a rebellion coming there. We've probably got one coming here. Eh, not yet, but soon. Faction support. Man, we owned this like three turns ago. Hey, it's... Corrupted Water. What the hell is this SGD? Thank you for your two SGD. A most satisfactory welcome or answer our discussions. Thank you so much, dude. What is an SGD? Will Donkey do Liu Hong? Probably at some point, yeah. 
I don't even know what that is, currency-wise. Um, I'm sure you'll tell me in a moment. And I appreciate it, no matter how much it is, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, there's no diplomacy. Did we get a new book at some point? No, we still got the free books. Um, I don't really have enough money to build another army or anything either. Well, I have enough money to build an army, but no... Uh, not enough money to actually maintain it, so let's just wait for now. Singapore dollars, okay. All right, how much does it have? What is the the conversion rate of that to a euro? If you'd be so kind as to let me know. Um, because I I have no idea. Oh, there's a, I don't, we knew that rebellion was coming. It's like, there's a rebellion there, what the fuck? Are the bus for Liu Xu, Li Xu the same as Liu Hong in their cabinet? Liu Chong. Uh, no, I believe they are different. There might be some overlap. But um, yeah, the mechanics pretty similar. There might be some overlap, but I think they are actual, like mostly different. One dollar and 32 cents. Okay, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Um, okay, we got a rebellion in Yu. Yeah, boy. Um, we're going to just keep building shit here. I do want the government support. I think we're just going to switch this over first now. Nah, no. Because I don't get anything out of it, really. Although, actually, no, I did. If I built this first, I would have saved myself 10% of the construction cost of this building. But I wouldn't have had the patrol building yet, so... But yeah, besides that, I'm not getting much out of it. Hold on, am I? Um, I'm, I'm missing 2k population growth. Which... No, I'd rather get this first. <laughs> um... Up here. Right, that's finally fucking done, is it? Holy shit. It took a long time. Well, four turns is what it took. Um, we can get one more food and 30 more income from commerce. I think we're just going to build this first. Although that's technically worse, to be honest. So let's... Eh, I don't know. Fine. Um, okay. I do I do want to keep an eye out for characters now, though, if I get any good characters, because I, I have no one currently. There are quite a few available to recruit still, but no one that is... Well, you're 51 years old, so I'm just immediately kind of put off. If there's anyone unique in here, I might be interested, but... Mostly, I just want, like, a, a sentinel for um, assignments or something. Also, becoming fucking noble. Normally, you start as a noble, don't you? With, like, every other faction. So I was, like, I was assuming I was going to unlock a administrator slot, but I didn't even do that. Didn't even unlock any trade. It's horrible. I'm only a fucking noble. Um, turning the tide. Yep, so this is when a nearby unit is routing. We just unlocked this in the other campaign as well. So when a nearby unit is routing, uh, you buff up all the units around you in 100 meter range, which is pretty good. Pretty solid. Also, man, I didn't realize this. He has fucking several like expertise traits. He's got almost 100 expertise just from the, by default. I guess that's expertise as well. Another 8 right there. I know, that, that doesn't give anything, actually. That's weird. Yeah, it doesn't give nothing. That, that, don't, that don't give nothing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to let them build up a little bit. But I think what I'll do is I'll attack him. And then they'll survive with an auto resolve because they always fucking do. And then I'll just let him build up then. But that way I get to... I keep him a little bit under control. Oh. I'll release him. So I don't kill off the, fa the army right now. Uh, I think I'll replenish fully anyway. Alright. And then we're just going to move into the city. And I might even just go and attack that soon once I've dealt with this. Yeah, this way we get a little bit more happiness out of it. Oh, no, we don't. Wait, no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong province. Yeah, we do. I was going to say. That's fucking weird. There's the audio, like, going away constantly. Um, what was the item we got? It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, we got two of those now. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn again, I think. I mostly hope... Just Hey, there's uh, Zhang Fei. Sweet. I'm mostly just hoping for unique characters to appear at this point. Hey, it's the it's it's the small dong, it's <laughs> it's the nuts it's the young dong, is what I'll probably be calling my campaign when I play it with him. 
Ten turns later, Lee Bay shows up. Does he even exist in this camp? Yeah, I mean, he starts. He 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 exists. He even starts in this campaign. He owns the town next to us, right here. Her Yi is gone. Oh shit! Not a yellow turban gone. That's a minor one, though. Hopefully, he's on his way to go deal with this guy, so I don't have to worry about that anymore myself. Myself. Now Hanai is gonna rebel as well. Oh boy. No unique characters to unlock either. I really want to go on the offensive because I feel like I can, I can take out. Oh man, exactly. They've only got these two towns left. Oh no, we got that one as well. Oh, they, this guy's. Oh man, he, what the fuck? How did he take three towns on like one turn? What the fuck? Okay, we can take out Zhang Bao pretty quickly now because he just owns this town. I don't think I can reach him. If I, oh wait, no, I can't. Damn, that looks like I can, but I can't. No, I can't. Right there. Ugh. I was gonna say if I could have reached him right now, I probably would have gone for it. Even though I have no one I can co co possibly recruit to deal with the rebellion here, but I would have probably still done it. But I can't, so let's just deal with this. Let's see if they die. They will do, probably. Yep, there goes his fucking head. See you later. Take the money. Um, I'm probably still gonna. I can rec I can recruit anyone, so I'm I'm still gonna go on the offensive. If no one else is gonna grab it, I'll grab it. It is level four though, so it's got walls. But we'll see. If I can grab it, it'd be nice. Let's convert this now. It's probably worth it. Yeah, we have a we have a garrison here, so I just recruit a single person with a couple of units, and we can take on whatever army spawns really. So we'll be okay. I could exempt tax, but it's not really. It's actually not even that bad. I lose a bunch of food, which I should sell. Good point. Yo, who's in need of fucking nutrition? You're really in need of nutrition. But you don't have a lot of money is the problem with you, my dude. Well, you have, in fact, you know, you have loads of money, but you're not willing to give it to me is the problem. Yeah, this is never going to give anywhere near what I want. Like, I mean... Nah, yeah, it's not even. It's not even that bad, actually, if you look at it that way. But Liu Chong, you got nine food. That makes sense. Anyone who's got like minus food and tons and tons of cash. Oh my god, all these people. It's Hao Song, but he's not gonna give me much. Although if he's the only fucking person, Liu Hong, he needs loads of money, loads of food. Any major factions that need food, though, that's what I'm looking for. There's Wang Rui needs food. You want Shu? No, you're fine. Zhang Yan, you're, you never give anything. Okay, fine. Um, it was the guy I had like minus five. You. How much money would you give me? Some, okay, you're not. See, that's not gonna happen. He's not gonna give me anything for that. Um, Cao Song, he might give me something. No, no, he's not. All right. Well, if I'm not gonna spend my food, let's exempt this place from tax and make this happen a little bit later, so I can deal with this more easily. And then we'll just because we're not losing any money from like 40 food or, or 40 bucks from it or something per turn not really concerned about that no why are you going back attack feel free to take that town dong i mean your name is dong Zhou. you really ought to take the town oh fucking hell oh hello his army's fucking beat up though in fact i'm having my i should probably go for dong now I mean, i'd rather take this but Who's this? Yeah, some regular dudes. Man, I don't care about these dudes. Give me some... Oh. What the fuck? Whoa! Minus one satisfaction plus 100% income from commerce faction wide. Holy shit! That guy's insane! <laughs> Fucking hell. For a regular, like, just, just some random... Well, he's actually... He's a, he's a, um, a unique character. He's at like 30 points, but still... Fucking hell. Minus one satisfaction. I'll, t I'll take that any day of the week for 100% income from, from commerce. It's madness. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not going to get him. Because I'm not going to make him my fucking heir. I'm not going to make him my fucking heir. But still. Alright. Uh, it's annoying. Because I, I don't want to... I kind of want to take this before anyone else does. But I also got to deal with this, this army here. And then I might as well take Dong at that point as well. Da, 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 da. Um, all right, we got a building to build as well. Let's build some buildings, shall we? Because we can build buildings. Buildings can be built, so we should build a building. Um, I'm gonna keep this exempted for now. 
Alright, let's go attack him. I'm pretty sure our, yeah, our garrison... Yeah, the characters are almost... Well, yeah, these are, these are both almost dead as well. I'm not worried about him. I ain't worried about you, Huang Shao. The fuck do you think you are, little bastard? Yeah, let's end turn again, I think. Um, I guess we can see if that's gotten any better yet. Nope. No, it certainly has not. Han Empire, you got any good deals to do? No, fuck off then, you little bastard. Alright, let's go. Will this be automatically uploaded to YouTube? Yes, it will, sir. Oh, it is. Oh, right. Rebellion. Wait, we have Rebellion here. The fuck? Did I know about that? I think I did. Let's ignore it. Just chose to ignore it. Uh, yeah. This will be uh, automatically up uploaded to YouTube afterwards. He's going home! Well, I will pursue. Pursue the Huang Xiao, but I might... Uh, as much as I want to do it right away, I might want to deal with this first. Oh no! Huang Fu Song is wounded. What the fuck? A friend is in need. A solid friend is worth more than a thousand unknown soldiers. As you lie recovering from a battle, a comrade tells the tale of your friend into great risk and great injury to save you in the fray. You survive because of them. They survive too, but not without bearing the battle scars. God fucking damn it. What poor timing. Ren Chi. Get your terrible ass out of here. Alright, that's actually pretty shitty timing. Um... How fast can I get there? Pretty fast if I jump in the water. Probably I can attack it next turn, I imagine. Um, what's this then, eh? Still not really worth getting character salary. I'm kind of tempted with a trade influence right now. Normally I get that one, but I haven't got this building yet. I could go for this one, which then goes into satisfaction plus 10. Faction wide? That's not bad at all. Holy fuck. And that unlocks a bunch of units, but I need to get a whole bunch of other shit as well. Although it's not a whole lot of other shit I need to get for it. I need to get... Oh, I need to get that one. No, wait, do I? No. Hold on. No, I need to get that one and these two. So I need to f I need to get three more. And then I can get Onyx Dragons and Defenders of... Wait, no, was he all these units again? Imperial Palace Crossbowmen and Imperial Palace Cal Cavalry, of course, yeah. Um... Interesting. I mean, it's mostly this stuff I'd be interested in, an extra trade agreement. I'm actually kind of tempted. It's, um, it gets me a bunch of commerce income, which is kind of pointless, but I'm definitely going to get this one for now then. That's like, that's pretty good. And I can get this as well, which, well, actually, I need to get those two. Uh, that's 20% character salary. It's not too bad. I think that's still worth it. All right. Let's get this fucking army gone. Please leave and never come back. You're going to survive, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's fine. Survive. I don't give a shit. So yeah, the turbines get their own tech tree. It's not very informed when it comes to 3k. Yes. Do you think the DLC campaign is better than the main campaign? Well, the DLC campaign kind of goes into the main campaign, so I think it's just an, like, it's an addition. Um, and I, yeah, I, I don't necessarily think it's better, but it's certainly not worse. If I do that, I'm going to be across the river, aren't I? It's going to ruin my movement, I can already tell. But let's just get rid of them. Although they'll probably... They'll probably rebel immediately again. Yeah, I'm up across the fucking river. I fucking knew it. It's going to waste my movement. Oh boy, didn't mean to do that. Alright, maybe I won't go after Dong then. Maybe I'll just go take this after, after all. It's probably easier. Yeah, this is going to rebel in two turns. This is going to rebel in four if I don't do anything about it. And, well, if I... If I <laughs> let that happen, it'll rebel immediately. I need to get like any legendary character. If I get any kind of legendary character, I will immediately recruit him, pop him in, and then just use that unit to keep the towns happy. But for now, let's let's just wait. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll keep going north. There's no no point going this way for me. As long as he keep like stays in check for a little bit, I'll be okay. DLC tech tree is better than the main campaign. It's basically exactly the same for regular factions, except that those final like things unlock more units now, the Imperial units as well. The yellow turban tree is like a completely unique now though. There he is, Guojia. Let's get him in. 
There's my legendary character. Unfortunately, it's a strategist, which is not exactly what I was look, looking for, but I'll still take it. Um, and then we got some other random fucking characters. Gorgia, welcome, welcome, my dude. You're probably gonna be super unhappy in my court because you know my court sucks. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh oh boy. Um, you're a pretty good. Yeah, minus ten percent corruption faction wide. I may have to make it my faction error simply to get him off my back. Um, I could adopt him for now as well. Just that would make it already quite a bit better. He's forty years old, which sucks. We're forty six, so you know. I suppose it's possible. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll adopt him. Hopefully the other characters aren't pissed off because of it. He's 54 years old already. I forgot about that. Fucking hell. What what year is it? 186. Alright, so he's um he's still unhappy, even being adopted. He's like, fucking, I don't give a shit who whose son I am. Just <laughs> get me a fucking core position. So I guess we're making him my heir. I get plus two satisfaction, faction wide, and minus ten percent corruption. It's not the best thing I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not terrible, and it makes him well happy, which means I don't have the minus satisfaction thing, which would have otherwise probably happened. So, all right, how expensive is he gonna be to recruit though? That's the real question. Uh, okay, he hasn't actually done anything before. He's new to the fact the game, so he's not gonna be super expensive at all. All right, so this place is gonna rebel next this coming turn. Um, and then this one as well if I and otherwise it's gonna wait hold on it's only minus two now if I leave it exempted I wonder what's going away probably the faction support um, okay I'm gonna recruit him here and then I'll let this place over bell and he can deal with that and then yeah we'll be fine and then I can't recruit you oh my god I can't have any more armies yet are you fucking kidding me holy shit did not consider that uh, oh boy, what's that thing? I need to get an extra army available. <laughs> it's the it's the red one. It's that one. But he needs he would have to have to be my prime minister error faction leader. Oh boy, <laughs> I did not consider this, did I? Oh Jesus! Oh jeez, Rick. Um. Okay. If I if he levels up one more time, I can get that, which I really don't want to get because I want to go down this way. He has like the worst fucking shit for his early levels. Oh man. What, yeah, you're letting me down here, man. Also, you don't need this fucking pig, do you? Get it out of here. Um, you really, sh yeah, you should have this. Um, and then, ah, oh, shit, I'm in me to drown. I was supposed to get the boat to him. Oh well. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, this is awkward. I can't even have a second army yet. When are we gonna be the next tier? Second marquee. Oh boy. Well, we may be slightly fucked here. Well, not fucked. I guess we'll just have to exempt this further. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's fine. Um, and I want to go and take this, but once again, I'm stopped by this place rebelling. Unless I exempt this place from tax, but then we're on minus free food. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of have to let it rebel. Man, this is fucking awkward. Are the new Yellow Turban units available for the main campaign? Yellow Turban and Warlords, that's what I want to know. Unfortunately not, uh, I don't think, no. And also vice versa, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of a shame, but also gives them a little bit more uniqueness, I guess. So I suppose that's a, it could be considered either a good or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Um, okay, so yeah, let's make sure this place doesn't rebel. And then we'll just have this one... We do have this one rebel, and we'll deal with it immediately, I guess. Or maybe I'll let it build up. Fuck it. Let's, let's just go. We'll take some fucking towns. This is probably build up now. Yeah, it's going to pay you on shouting it along with the full stack. If I have to siege him out, it's going to suck. I don't quite know what the plan is here. This sucks. <laughs> like, I'm just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Uh, anyway, end turn. I'm going to sleep now. Bye, Azim. I'm going to stop the stream now as soon, so you won't miss much, to be honest. Guess it makes sense because they're two separate DLCs, but kind of disappointing. Yeah, it is a little bit. I understand that it is like. But most of them are pretty similar units, though. Like, you got Spearman Gang here, which is like the Yellow Turban Spearman in the other one. So it's like. They're pretty similar units. But it does, you know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Sparring Partners. Lu Zhi and Shang Yuan. Okay. We got a Rebellion. What a surprise. 
this place is um it's actually gonna when the faction support goes all the way away it's gonna be on zero while exempted so i guess that's good um i guess while he's not doing anything i put him on assignment plus 10 satisfaction faction wide minus 50 percent corruption uh oh boy Income from commerce, silk, and spice. We don't have much of that. I think getting reward the filial and incorrupt is pretty solid. I don't think we have any any corruption yet, so that's not really relevant. But yeah, I'll put them on assignment here. I'll do that. Plus ten satisfaction. Why not? Um. And then yeah, I can either attack the town, which has got a garrison in it too. Plus him, which means I'll have to siege him out for quite a while. Or I can go back and deal with this rebellion, but you know, I deal with it, it's gonna rebel again two turns later, what's the point? Right? So I think I gotta just do something here. Let's see how long I have to see them out before they start taking two turns before they start taking attrition. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Um The sapping is pretty I I, I create I quite like the sapping, so let's build that first actually. Or do that first. And then we'll continue to siege. They might sally out, but they probably won't. But either way. I really wish I could recruit one more army at least. I'm not used to being able to only recruit one army. It's crazy. Got me looking so crazy right now. Um, yeah, they. I think I seem to recall they usually attack before it becomes a problem anyway. So I think we'll be reg fine regardless. Need to complete another task. Be weird if you needed another DLC to have a full roster. Seems to be a similar situation with Leah Bay Star. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, that's the first thing that came to my mind as well. Only having one army is like Leah Bay in the regular campaign. I wonder how it is in this one. Also, Dong might be getting taken soon. So I, mean, I think I'm happy I didn't go for it. I kind of want An Ping to get taken because that's going to be annoying if he just owns that Liu Chong. Li Yuchang. Ooh, who is it? Anyone good? No, it's just fucking Miju. Oh, he's actually, he's a decent character, but not what I'm looking for. Nanjing, have a wound healed. 25% replenishment for garrisons. Ooh, that's actually interesting. I'll have it. Alright, so he didn't sally out yet. Um, yeah, that's a pretty sizable force already, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll be fine still. You know, if they fully replenish and they get another one, then it becomes a problem. But I think for the moment we're okay. And this is still five or six turns away from from rebelling. At which point it might be even happier because of the faction support going away. Um, six turns that we have full faction support. So yeah, by then, yeah, we, it should be okay. Um. I think I'm gonna end the stream here because I'm streaming for two hours and fifty minutes, two hours and twenty minutes or so. That means I can do, um, yeah, I've, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, then I've got I've got like five and a half hours left over at least for two more streams, so that's fine. Right, so I'm gonna end this one here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, lots of viewers today. I got a donation as well. That's nice. Um, I should mention while all of you are here. If you have any interest in getting this DLC yourself, please do feel free to use the link in the description to two game. You get the DLC cheaper. If you use the code Smart Donkey at checkout, you get an extra ten percent off of the already discounted price as well. You just get a regular Steam key, and it's a, an official retailer, so no shady business or anything like that. Um, and besides that, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, kind of around the same stream, uh, around the same time as I streamed earlier today. Um, again, normally I always stream around this time, but because of um, Christmas and everything, I couldn't stream much, so I wanted to catch up a little bit. Why do I always come in the last seconds? Probably because I always stream around the same time. Once again, you're uh, welcome to watch the stream afterwards, as it becomes a regular VOD video on demand. Hello Gaming Samurai, bye Gaming Samurai. So thank you guys for watching. Um, until tomorrow, or whatever, I'll catch you guys. Have a good day, and goodbye.